Welcome to a special spoiler cast review discussion about the one and only God of War Ragnarok. Boy. I'm joined, of course, by that lovely sultry voice in your ears right now, which is Alex. How are you? I, I'm good. It's been a while. It's been too long, but it's been a while. I can always expect you for a really good spoiler cast, and here you are. Oh, always, here always. Anytime, now, when in doubt. I'll always be here for a spoiler cast. It's like, um, it's like Batman. Wherever there's right. crime is where he is. There's no set mm, location. Gotcha. Gotcha. Some say it's Gotham. Yeah. I'd say shut up. Mm. God of War Ragnarok. Uh, Kevin Conroy. <laughs> Released worldwide November 9th, 2022 for the PS4 and PS5. Developed, of course, by Sony Santa Monica and published by PlayStation. Now, I love starting these spoiler casts with just kind of describing our relationship with the title. And of course, this being a very story title with six, seven plus entries in the franchise. I just wanted to touch base really quick on your history. What have you played? When did it maybe start with you? You don't have to keep it long. Just a nice short suite. Just so everyone listening knows your history. Um, The first God of War game that I ever played was one but i never the first one i ever beat was three mm. and i never played i don't I, it's been so long i don't even think i remember if i've finished two before i don't think i have i and then, uh, go ahead yeah, and that yeah yeah three was really the the first one i've ever finished and the, before the, all these and of course you played 2018 correct right right so i have played um three all the way through when it came out Loved mm -hmm. it. I remember playing a bit of, I think, the first God of War when I was a kid, but I, th I, I, I can't quite remember. But I think I played the beginning, but didn't play the rest. Mm -hmm. And then I, of course, went to God of War 2018. Well, actually, technically, I played Ascension, which no one ever talks about. <laughs> um, but I played Ascension. I liked it fine. Uh, I know that mm -hmm. wasn't very popular, but I liked it. Like, oh, whatever. And then I, of course, played God of War 2018 and loved it, of course. Yep. All right. Our history and all that thing we've played, blah, blah, blah. I want to just jump into the game. Where do you want to start? I always love starting with the juicy stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. Of course, how did you think about the overall story? What, 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 when you rolled credit, credits, mm -hmm. what were you left with? Hmm. It's like, it's weird because I, a lot of questions were like answered. But not, a lot not of too many left open. I would I would no, like to add. Not not too many left open, but it left me, of course, wanting more because I'm like, well, you know, what else are they gonna do? Because they said that this is the end of the Norse mythology. So like, how could they even remotely change to a new another mythology? Because this one made sense. Because you know, he left, escaped somewhere, and this is where he ended up. He has a he has a child. Now, that child, I mean, oh, it's a sport, I guess. So I can say shit, right? Of course it is. <laughs> this child is not gone into his own adventure. Yeah. And if we go to a new mythology, like, what is, what is going to be the excuse for that one? He's, it's not like he's escaping from anything. Is he going to take Mimir with him? Is he going to, No, like, he left he gonna... Mimir. He, he went by himself. Well, no, not a trade. I'm talking about Kratos. Oh, Kratos himself. Oh, I see yeah, Kratos My himself, because I feel like, I don't, do you see a God of War game with not Kratos? So that, so I think it's interesting that we both went different ways with what you were talking about. I thought the entire yeah. time you were talking about Atreus, and I think, of course, the whole time you were talking about Kratos, mm -hmm. in my mind, even though the game itself kind of shows Atreus leaving and us staying, so it mm -hmm. insinuates that we're sticking with Kratos. I think that just insinuates just for this game. And I think the next mm. adventure will be with Atreus slash Loki. Unclear if what name we're going by. Because I remember... Of course, Son of the God of War. Because I remember, he, of course, he has that touching moment with him at the very end. And he, mm. um, he says, uh, Atreus... Uh, Oh my God, I should have looked it up prior. Um, you are no, you uh, you are. It's something about like you are Loki, but in here you are, or you here you're, you're here. Always here. Yeah, you're. That's right. That's right. That's right. 
yeah. then they hug and he leaves. And yeah. that's beautiful. And and I think that was just a and he does the Captain Morgan thing. Like he's just like he did looks into the distance. A little too long. A little too long. And, and, and looks up into the mountain. A little too long. He looks out. He talks to Anger Boda, which looked really nice. Um, yeah, it looks like they were excited. Looks like they're both happy for each other, but also at the same time, like I gotta go and you have to stay. It kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. And he left. Yeah. But uh, in my eyes, we, whatever this franchise continues, we're going with him. I don't think we stick with Kratos. Now, maybe, mm. maybe we do. And I'm just completely off base, but it seems so. I don't know. It's left open purposely, I, I think. I can see them doing two, uh, two, both of them. I can see them that uh, this being with the God of War franchise still with being Kratos, but then they make a spin off IP of atreus because they can do so much stuff with that yeah that's a good point they could so do a, a new that's a new ip that they could do stuff with if they wanted to but they could do a spider-man miles morales situation yeah where yeah, they could do that they spin they have a slight spin-off very similar but with a different mm -hmm. type of character i um i don't know what i hope for but i i just i don't know we jumped right at the end i want to very quickly uh cement what our thoughts about the entire game was so yeah. Let's do a light review. I think it's obvious what what we are because we've been gushing about it. But what did you think about the game? Did you like it? Did you love it? What did you love game, about it? What the 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 game was? It's it's hard to put into words because there's so much that um it was it 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 was amazing to me. Mm. Like like there was so many things like they can like you could tell that it like it it, it was touching it, like it, it like it hit those moments it's like i don't know how it's it's like when we played 2018 we're like how can they make this any better now we played this i'm saying that again i'm like how can they make this any better cuz like yeah. like like this is probably in my either top 10 or top 5 games of all time mm Yes, like, and like this game is like for me being a, a a Norse freak. I mean, as you can see. Yeah. I mean, like, I like I know I love Norse mythology. I love this twist, like the symbolism of uh, of you know father and son. Right. You know, it's just it, it's it's I don't know what could be better. Yeah, I agree mostly. I I loved this game. Um, and I was yeah. of the similar mind. I did find it difficult though. When, once beating the game, I was like. All right, well, I have 2018, and I love that so much. Do I like that more? And it's funny is it's almost like a puzzle piece to me mm -hmm. where there are certain parts of 2018 I liked better. Yeah, there are certain things. Sure. I agree on that. There was certain thing that was more touching about the entire time we're, we're yeah. doing this special mission, trying to deliver this. Yeah, like I, I kept ashes, saying, like, every so. time I was playing Ragnarok, it was missing a certain moment. Yeah, of course, with 2018, the Blades moment. Yeah, that Blades moment, the feeling of, you know, oh, you're going back to the roots, you know, it's like all that history, you're coming back down to this. This game was missing that specific moment, but it had a lot of other different moments, counteracted a little bit. And also you could argue you can't really do it again. I mean, again, yeah, you won't have the same meaning. So, yeah, the only thing I can think of is imagine if he got, oh, that's Zeus's sword or whatever. Some crazy, yeah. yeah. I almost like that they made a new thing for the yeah. game because at one point i thought remember in 2018 when zeus appears in helheim or whatever yeah. and the sky or whatever i thought they were going to go back to something about mm. that with about zeus kind of glad like, they didn't I'm, I'm yeah i'm glad they didn't but like i thought they were going to go some route like that or something yeah i'm glad they didn't it, it, we've <laughs> moved on I, I i like yeah i like that they stuck with everything that was this now I yeah uh to back to my point I um I enjoyed the game heavily I th I think I do like it more than 2018 and although I don't know if it's in my top 5 but it surely would be in my top 10 I just enjoyed this game Kratos is an incredible character to me in this game um mm -hmm. shown beautifully uh of course by Christopher Judge which is an incredible actor and I mean it's I say that with I mean some of the best acting I've seen in video games oh, ever. Yeah. It, well, ever. It's, and I want to quickly bring up, before I uh, give it back to you, I want to quickly bring up, okay. of course, I, no, I won't say anything original because I know everyone who played the game also said this when they saw that moment, but when he is, when Atreus comes in, he's like, hey, can I sleep with you tonight? Prior to the mm -hmm. siege. And he, and he goes and tells the story. 
And when he notices he goes to sleep, he says so much without saying a word. And we and through a video game, yeah. through a, another character yeah. wearing a mask on a bunch of computers, the movement, the lips, the, the expression, the, expressions, like the eyes, the every everything. Just that one thing of him touching the kid, trembling, mm-hmm. the lip trembling. He bites it. Lip, yep. He bites yep. it to, to not cry. And it's everything about it was. I, I mean, I, I don't I think that might be one of the best scenes Oh yeah. In terms sure. of acting and, and emotion and ever, but well, quickly, mm-hmm. uh, or please, uh, uh, go back to your point. Well, I was gonna say that um, it, like with Christopher Judge, you know, like he this role meant so much to him because you know he said he dedicated this as an apology to his kids, mm-hmm. and you know having to do being in this role or doing this for ten years because you know he they worked five years on the first game, five years on this one. He's um, I saw an interview and he was saying, yeah, I mean, being with Sonny for 10 years, I mean, I've watched this kid grow up, you know, and he feels like a son to me. And, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, I was like, that's it's you could see the behind the scenes like they just like it's that 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 emotion is there because, you know, you feel like sometimes with acting, like sometimes there's no connection here. It's like they give it their all like it's like that. It was like it was them. Uh, fun fact, since you brought it up. Uh, this is via the wiki, but also I've heard this, so I know it's true. Uh, quote, development was partly impacted by, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic, as Herman Hulse stated that there were issues getting access to performance capture and talent. Delay also brought upon a unique issue with Atreus actor Sonny Soljic, who was going through puberty during the time of production. His voice had changed a lot, especially during the delay. According to supervising dialogue designer Jody Cupsko, who said, quote, we had to go in and even out that performance so that in the game, it sounds like it took place over a short period of time, end quote. Senior producer Ariel Angoliti said there were no changes to cinematic as a result of the delay. They just had to get creative in how they made the content. I thought that was interesting, too. It, it was yeah. going on for so long that the kids started hitting puberty, and they were like, uh, we got to like even out this kid's Dude. voice because it, it's, it's changing as we're like doing this. No, it's crazy how this works. Like, uh, like side thing, the, the girl that played X-23 in Logan, Daphne mm. King, her now, she's like an adult. Yeah. It's wild to think. Like, I saw a picture of her yesterday. I was like, well, I, she was just in Logan. But I th- think about it. That's 2017, 2018. It's 2022. That's been four or five years. Yeah, let's say she was 13. She's 17 now. That's a big, yeah, it's, it, yeah, very it's big like jump. People, like, especially, like, in that those ages, like, kids, like, change so much. Since we're talking about the cast, I want to quickly go over um, the full uh, credits and the writing credits of the major characters. Of course, this is directed uh, first time by Eric Williams. He's actually been with the franchise for a very long time, but this is the first time he's actually sat in the director's chair. Um, There's a lot of writing credits, but of course, written by Corey Bollock, and I believe uh, not mainly, but uh, also written partially by Eric and some other things. It's, It's a lot of people. And then here is the main cast. I actually went through it, and I kind of picked all these people because I feel like this is like the main people. Of course, Christopher Judge voices Kratos. Sonny Soljic voices Atreus. Danielle Bisuti voices Freya. Robert Craighead voices Brock. Adam J. Herring voices Sindri. Alistair Duncan voices Mimir. L- Leia Delone Hayes voices Angraboda. Richard Scheif voices Odin. Ryan Hurst voices Thor. Min- Minna Sundwall voices Throod. Ben Pentergrast voices Tyr. Scott Porter voices Heimdall. Brett Dalton voices Frere. I feel like that was the main cast, so I, I, I hope I nailed everyone that you were thinking about. And um, all these are A, a- tier. I mean, I, all these performances yeah. were great. Maybe if I get I get a little picky, Frere at some points was like, eh, yeah. But aside yeah. from that, I mean, everyone was pretty. Yes, I mean, like, pretty much nailed it. Like, as soon as I heard Thor's voice, dude, I was like, God, I know that voice. Who is that? I was like, I just, I was like, I had to look it up. It's motherfucking Opie from <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. I'm like, man. And so I, uh, I want to bring up too. Very wise to go different with Thor, because we had the Marvel Thor. So- That's what everyone knows. So mm-hmm. let's do a, de- a quote unquote departure. I think this is technically closer to the actual Norse, yes. like mythology yeah, he so was, he was big redhead yeah, yeah. he was yeah so he was more, this is more accurate yeah so this is in theory more accurate so it's like a departure but only to yeah. what you think not to the source Apart material from all the tattoos because technically in north mythology there's no record of them having any tattoos whatsoever 
interesting. Um, yeah. But but there's so many avenues I can go with this. Uh, since we kind of stumble into characters, I want to quickly bring up Freya. Um, okay. the, I think her jo- journey throughout this game is something that I almost, I don't know, I kind of felt the most almost out of everyone. First off, the acting by Danielle Basuti was incredible. But I loved how we start the game. She's openly trying to murder Kratos. Very, yep. very cool. Of course. All she's seeing is red. Of course, prior to the uh, events of the last game, she wants to kill Kratos for killing Boulder. And she is open about it. She says, I want to kill you. And yep. something that was so interesting throughout the whole game. I don't know if you ever did this, but uh, Kratos' actions towards Freya, speaking specific like, how he never kills her. He never intentionally mm-hmm. kind of harms her. He usually just kind of tries to disable her and run away. Yeah. And mm-hmm. things of this nature. And also, if you read some listings prior to a, a later events when she when they kind of reconcile the differences, he even states specifically that he's doing certain actions because he still has a friendship with Freya. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll bring up specifically when he writes down Odin's first log entry after you do the very beginning fight when you sit down with Thor and or Thor and um, Odin and they ask for the deal, he says no. They do the coolest fight ever in everything. It was so dope. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll get to the fight in a second. Uh, but if you read that lore entry afterwards, so he almost the specific reason he said no to Odin was because he found that uh, aiding um the ex-husband of freya would be distasteful and he would like to avoid that pretty much in a mm-hmm. very kratos way of talking and i found i found that that was also very uh deep and and over dimensional oh, of yeah. that character which i was like wow i love it i love that they're not only saying like yeah he of course doesn't want to fight freya but also like he's not going to betray her as that like kind betray of her in any way either and that spartan like, trust gonna, that he has yeah, he did enough to hurt her already yeah and um, I will. Uh, one of my favorite interactions is um, when they beat the Nidhogg together, and he mm-hmm. looks and he says, "I don't. I'm not going to say sorry for um, saving your life, but, but I, I shouldn't have taken the choice of life or death from you." Yep. And that was one of the most powerful moments of the game as well, when mm-hmm. they just kind of see eye to eye for a second, and she pretty much goes like. I guess I can agree to put that aside. Yep. And, and then they, so we deal with Odin. Like, they do the cool handshake that everyone loves. Yep. I mean, everyone loves the handshake yeah. with the wrist. Yeah. But um, that was that was incredible. I I I loved that scene. I, I I'm eating a lot of the air. Would you like a? Is there anything uh sticking out to you that you want to bring up? No, I agree. I I'm I would love that you can see the pro uh the the uh. How how much Kratos has changed? Yeah. Even if from the first game to this one, you can see that he's, you know, he's he's like more like oh, you know, kind of like oh, I shouldn't have done that. Like I wish yeah. I could take it back. You know, he more like he regrets a lot more, and uh, like I, you could see that it he's trying. Well, I like and that I, he I, talks. You know, he like yeah, you, he talks more. He's like he's trying to be more human than than God. Yeah. And I, I just like that he's speaking. I feel like even in 2018, yeah. he talked, but it wasn't a lie. He didn't really Boy. have discussions. And then this, he's no. having full on like lines of dialogues about deep mm. things and things of this nature. His one of my past. favorite, one of my favorite things is the poems that you find, the convulsor poems. Mm-hmm. That's some of my favorite thing when you have the little back and forth from Mir. It's like, oh, you like poems? He's like, my people are known for their culture. I was like, these these yeah. little things that are so nice. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, I hope everyone, I'm sure everyone at home knows, but if you don't, very cool thing. All those poems, just in case you didn't read them, are all PlayStation titles. Go read them. Yep. See if you can figure it out. That's if not, cool. look it up. They're all PlayStation so titles. Cool. I think my favorite one might be the uh, Ghost of Tsushima one or the Uncharted one. I don't know, but both of those are yeah. very nice. But anyways, yep. uh, any other moments, characters, anything like that you want to bring up? No, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I like I said, you, I, I loved Freya's like character progression, like as in like she be- went from literally just seeing blood the whole time to her like, hey, you're my family now. Mm, I've, and I, and I, 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 I like that uh, he's he's trying to the reason was like, 
as a man um, that knows vengeance, I am trying to yeah. tell you nothing will change when it happens. Nothing, or yeah. also, like, you're not going to feel better. Like, he's just telling her things. He's not it's, telling her to stop. He's just no, saying, like, right. facts, which I love. And, yeah, no, I, even the area that I love, like, every time you have her as a companion, it progresses. You can see that it's not just yeah. a same conversation. You can tell that it adds, like, when you go to Vanaheim with her, he he was like, oh, she was like, oh, you never understand what it means to lose a child. Oh. Y- yes. Yes, he I, like, yes yeah, I do. Actually, he, and she was like, wait, what? And he tells her about uh, Calliope yep. and the, you know, the curse of a, and I was like, the ashes. And I'm like, oh, I was like, and she was like, I didn't know. I was like, he, he said something about it. That's how, that's the only way you can know. Mm-hmm. That's it's not written in stones. So, so good. Or, I mean, I guess I, it's crazy that like, I know, I mean, like people know of him, like, like here in Norse mythology, like Mimir, Odin, or even yeah. Thor, it's like they're they're like, oh, I know who you are. I've heard of you, and it yeah. seems like they're not referencing like the past game. It seems like they knew prior. So I'm it's just a, assu- um, I'm just assuming they have know. magic to maybe view or something. And also, please let us know if someone at home knows this. Is Greece gone? Because they said that I think in the game, but like, is it gone? Gone? Like, is it fully like? If he tries to go back to Greece, is there anything there, so, or is everyone dead? Back and looked at and watched. I mean, God of War three, but literally all of the like because there was a uh, somebody there was a video that actually I saw on TikTok. Somebody put together and he made mentioned that thing. He's like, oh, you know, uh, when he's talking to a trace about, it, it's like, oh, you know, there's repercussions or consequences for killing gods. Yeah, and the, the he and the guy edited a scene. Of him killing all the past gods yeah, like Hermes, Poseidon, uh, Poseidon is the easy one because like all the Zeus, oceans and, keep going yeah, crazy. Literally after that, you can see it's just torn water spouts, yeah. tornadoes, thunder, everything. It's just in uh, apocalypse in Greece. Yeah, like, it looks like something off a of doom, and it I does. think yeah, it's it looks still nice. like that. I I guess so. I I don't know. Again, if anyone knows, or no. I just assume it's effed up and they can't go back. And they also kind of said the, that it is. I don't know. That or it's just a barren wasteland, or it's moved on. Because remember, even in the first game, what was it? Tears Temple. He had the vase that had Kratos on it. Yeah. So like, how did he get that? Yeah. He, somebody he, had somebody that was in Greece that knew about this had to make that vase with him on it. So yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, I'm unclear about certain things. Again, I. How, I actually said this when I started playing the game. I should have, I and I should have. I didn't, mm-hmm. but I should have played 2018 prior to this. I of course played it prior, but I had played it. I think when yeah. it came out, I don't. I think I might. I don't think I fully replayed it. I think I played like half of it again or something. I don't know. But I wish I had done a full playthrough, just mm-hmm. so I had a little better context of things. But I knew. I know. I remember the vast majority of things. That's just the yeah. one thing I'm still unclear about. Is like, is it? Is is the realm gone? And also, it seems like it's unclear that we can how we can leave because because God because like he uh, when Atreus was like we can leave and go somewhere else. He's like it's that's not easy. So I'm like okay, yeah. Um, maybe it's hard to do what he did, and also we still don't maybe. know what he did. I don't know. That's my thing. Like we still don't know how he got to in Midgard, like Mid Norse mythology, nor nor you know that area. Yeah. Like we still don't know how he met Freya or not Freya, uh, Faye. Okay, we yeah. still don't know what happened. Like, we still don't know any of that. Yeah, which I do like a little mystery. I don't want to know no, everything. I, I kind of like, like I that want, we don't. I want to know some stuff, you know? One of my favorite parts of this game is the crater and solving that mystery. What, what happened here? Why is there also a frozen lightning bolt? That means Leviathan Axe probably was used here or maybe some sort of powerful spell. And you slowly unravel this very incredible side quest. By the way, side quests? I mean, there's not a wasted quest in this game, in my opinion. Like, mm-hmm. all of them add something, a little bit more dialogue that you wanted to know, a little bit backstory. Even the ones in, like, when Freya's helping out these dead people that I don't care about. Just the little things, it was like, well, no, it's my do. I have to, like, help them out. And and you get little pieces of, of uh, her dialogues when you help them and stuff. It's, so, it's just so much. It's so good. Yeah. Um... I was, I don't know. I was still thinking of like, is Greece gone? Because remember, there was a thing that Mimir asked him. You know, he was like, "Oh, all your god powers that you got, all the abilities that you got in Greece." He was like, "Why can't you use them?" He was like, "Those are connected to that, to that world, to that world." I remember him saying like, "I, I tried before. I can't." 
something about me coming here doesn't let me do it. So yeah, I don't know what that means. Does he still? Oh, oh, he still got man. it. So I, don't, I don't know how that works. Let's but see. while you do that, we'll transition into story beats and story in general. What are some of our favorite story beats? Um, one of our uh, favorite through lines of the narrative and things of that nature. And I just want to first, I want to start us off with the big one because this is what everyone's going to be talking about. Um, tear and the twist. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Uh, did you? No. Okay. Not for, I did. Not. I didn't. I didn't for a second. Um, uh, it's come out now. Eric Williams. If anything, I, thought, I if anything, I thought he would betray. He would. He would do something bad. But I never saw the twist. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I, I, like I thought something maybe because he was too fucked up in the head. Maybe he was like he was gonna be like his, you know, his Odin's lackey, whatever. He's like he's gonna betray them, but he's gonna try to make it better. I wasn't seeing the whole twist. Yeah, I, I love that Brock figured it out too as his last <laughs> little thing. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you calling him Loki like, now? Loki, what is going yeah, on?" Call him. And he, he just smacks the yeah. thing out of the hand. <laughs> he just stabs him right in his he's chest. Like, Why don't you ever shut up? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, but speaking specifically about the uh, betrayal, that that was a jaw dropping moment for me at least. I didn't I didn't see yes. it coming, and also it felt earned though, uh, to me at oh, least, because yeah. oh, not just because it's a twist and you didn't see him coming doesn't mean it's good. But I think in mm. this specific instance, it is it, uh, Odin. Odin like being a, this kind of imposter uh, character, like he's able to uh, have eyes everywhere, mm. and apparently like um, it's mentioned. I, I think it's mentioned throughout the game, like. Where's Odin? And now you know, like, oh, we knew where he was. He was posing as Tyr when he had to be. Um, and apparently, uh, I want to say, um, I think Eric Williams came out and said, we tell you that it's not Tyr because it doesn't use the... Um, the accent? The accent over the Y if you re- have mm-hmm. subtitles on. So if you have subtitles yeah. on and Tyr's talking, it's it not on there. Which is crazy because I didn't even notice. I, mean, I, 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 on. I wouldn't have, but I don't have uh, subtitles. I wouldn't have thought about it. But yeah. in all the promotional, it, yeah. all the promotional art in his actor uh, bio, everything, everything has the accent except when he talks when he's not tear. And then, of course, mm. um, at the end of the game, again, hopefully you did all the th- things in Platinum game because we're going to talk about side quests and things. But at the very end of the game, you find tear. If he talks, then he has the accent knowing, OK, so this is the tear. And again, how clever was that? Is that they, even after all this, are like, by the way, Tyr, Tyr was here the whole time. He was in the Odin fucking Raven, uh, Niflheim. And he was in a yep, fucking, he was in that, like you walked yeah, by him. Underneath it. You walked by yep. him multiple times if you went into that, the, that place when you were destroying the Ravens. By the way, did you, uh, the Ravens, super dark. Uh, I don't know if this is like yeah. in Norse mythology or not, but th- those are kids that they like killed and made into the it's dark as fuck. <laughs> it's yeah. super dark. I loved it. It was good. Good storyline. I like that we were kind of saving them, sort of. Not really, but kind of. They weren't. They aren't at least enslaved yeah, anymore. It's crazy because they kept talking. They're like, oh, you know, my, they were, he was saying something about like mommy, new Kim, mother, Kratos, new mommy father, and daddy. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, something like that. I was like, oh, this is creepy. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, any, any story beats you want to bring up specifically? I I much enjoyed the siege. Just everything about that, I I, I love. Oh yeah. But what? But yeah. what did you like? Um, it's so there's so much. I mean, the siege was really good. I I I did enjoy the Ironwood mission, mm. the Oenheim mission. I did enjoy that. So just hanging with Ang- Angerotas and yeah, Angerotas so cool. Like having to put the giant in the snake, and yep. you see it so other way. You're like, oh shit, that's what. That's he gets it. that's how he gets Getting, it. It's still a little, still a little uh, unclear Fenrir in Helheim. Uh, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That whole killing thing. Garm or whatever. Yeah, killing Garm and then getting Fenrir to work. Yeah, when that happened, I was like. Because I this couldn't figure out, so like, when is this happening? Every time there was a snow area, and they're like, oh, what's that sound? I'm like, oh, shit, it's Fenrir. Because, you know, the promotional the yep. trailer, you're like, oh, where is it? But yeah. no, it's, it was fucking Helheim. They're very wise about not spoiling anything. I mean, really, oh, no, for, nothing for, for sure. me. I had any, I had, had no idea. That's why I kept thinking I was about to beat the game. I was like, I think I'm about to finish it. And, like, I would do two more missions, and I'm like... Okay, I think I'm finishing it now. And then I would do mm. like five more missions. I'm like, how much is it, yeah, this game? And it, it, it was just that over and over again. Very, very fun. I, I love that. Um, talking about story beats, I love that we start with Thor. We, we actually start with the scene that Atreus saw at the end of the last game 
which is very mm-hmm. clever. I like that. We see the dream. He opens his door, making everything explode. And then what did you think about what they did with Odin in this? That it's this like skinny, frail old man missing an eye, but he's clever. He's like a strat- like- strategist. Type of character. Well, I, I liked I liked it that they made him more like like he he's he's not still he's still stuck in the old ways of look uh, the way he looks he's more modern like you know he's just a short shorter ball, like a bald guy like he doesn't have crazy hair he doesn't look buff or he's just an older older wise guy because I he looks like a um, what's the word. A person who who loves like like uh books in uh, literature yeah. or, like a uh, bookhead or you know uh, so y- someone y- that y- loves y- reading y- yeah 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 he's he's just he's that type of, he looks like one of those people that he's just he's 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 infatuated with facts yep. and history he, he, yeah I yeah mean, which it, he is he's just, he's a, he's obsessed with the future yeah in my mind the coat he wears I think at one point fit him but at mm-hmm. some point he just stopped like working out or like adventuring and he's j- like, I think he found that rift and that became his life. Like, he yep. stopped fighting and everything and he started studying that. He found the mask. And he's like, all right, mm-hmm. I got the mask. All right, this is this reacts to this. So I got to figure out, like, all right, how do I get this? All right. I, like, th- when I peeked into it, like, it showed me so much. Like, I have to do it again. I have to, like, look in and figure out all the thing. It's so much. And I love when they do that because again they 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 go with what you don't expect you kind of expect odin to walk in thunk thunk big armor gold plaid and all this and he's just a little guy walking he's like hey how you doing he's and he sounds like a new yorker almost like it's it seems so out of place but also not at the same time with what how he's talking and i love that i love that he's just in there he's like trying to make a deal with grace like hey i just want peace so why don't we make a deal? You you leave me alone. Hey, I even take care of Freya for you and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. And then of course Kratos says says no. And then we have the incredible boss fight. Boss fighting, same as boss fight is bold during the last game. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With Thor and whew, was it before good? we get to that? Yeah, uh, I found a theory that that's been going on about Greece. Okay. And there you've is been a looking at this the entire that, time, <laughs> huh? Yeah, so you've been looking up this this entire time. <laughs> it's because it was fucking with me. Go ahead. And um, so in 2018, when you go into Tyr's temple, there's a uh, there's a bunch of like you know things around, like a bunch of uh, like artifacts and things like that. There is a they were saying you know instead of, it turns out that you know the Norse god of war actually like to visit other lands, so. In Tyr's temple, there's actually a tapestry of uh, of Tyr going to. Yeah. Uh, it looks like to Greece. That sounds and it familiar. Says, well, it looks like Captain Kuba believes that it, that that's the I, think, I believe that's the YouTuber that made the theory mm. that um that he Tyr was giving a device to the to Greece to restore the order of the world. The time period depicted in the tapestry is, is after the fall and destruction of Greece, and it is believed that this item is used to bring peace and restore life back to the particular pantheon. A sword hilt simply wouldn't make sense if given the context, but it looks like yeah, it looks the tapestry looks like Tyr is giving it looks like some type of axe or or some type of something to to the people of Greece, and they're like reaching out. Hmm. And uh, and, and it looks like you can see Tyr's boat, or whatever, on the on the tapestry, yeah. and yeah. So it looks like Tyr. So that's what, and uh, so assuming that Tyr went to Greece to travel, and uh, they're saying he's a pacifist, so he was trying to like fix things. Yeah. So he, he, he went back say. to Greece. And he, he went back to Greece, gave them something to fix it. So assuming Greece is fixed back to normal, but I don't know if the gods are alive. I assume no. No. I assume no. just. I'm just. I am assuming just the world itself is is there. I mean, if he went there, that means it's fixed. Yeah. Now my thing is, would you now saying that since if it's this theory is correct, would could you see us returning to Greece? I don't know. Would we want to? I don't. I don't want to. I feel like it's done there. What are we gonna go do? Yeah. S- see some dudes walking around. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. I don't think we need to yeah. revisit these things. Um, yeah. Like uh, if if we do do Atreus or, or anything like this, let's keep going forward and like progressing. Let's not try to go in the past and do anything. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe he takes it upon himself to see if he can go fix something. Maybe that seems like a fun story beat, but no, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Yeah, I don't want to go back to things. 
It's got new <laughs> new stuff. It's have new lands. Yeah. Uh, that sounds more fun. Back to the other thing. Thor uh, fighting Odin or fighting Kratos. Awesome. I, yeah. I uh, one of my favorite parts was uh, him pretty much giving him a resuscitator mid fight. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> he's like, no, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> oh, I'm not done. I want to see the God of War, and he's like hitting him. He's like egging him on because he's clearly bored as fuck, and he's yeah. trying. He's trying to get someone to fight him. So he's just like, finally, I get to fight something. And like, it's yeah. it's pretty much what he's doing the whole game. He's just like thirsting for like a fight that is worthy yeah. of him because it looks like he. That's what I've heard. It's like at least when all the articles and things I've read, like uh, little things that Thor is always looking for a fight. Like mm. that's he's just bored. He's a drunk and he wants a fight, which uh, so. plays into when he met Faye for the first time. Um, of yeah. course, uh, she stopped him from destroying like a small town, and uh, they fucking fought it out. And apparently, he she beat his ass. And it's actually referenced at the very beginning of the game. Uh, uh, when he says this is familiar, when he's fighting Kratos, he's like, mm-hmm. thank you for saying, he's like, this is familiar. And he's like, never mind. And he's thinking of that yeah. Faye fight. He probably had hardly he's remembers because he was drunk as F. So he probably yeah. barely remembers that fight, but he recalls it at that very moment. And I liked that little piece. So I was like, at when I, well, first off, when I first heard, it, I was like, oh, time travel. Am I going to like time travel in the past and fight Thor? This is weird. And I was like, I was, that, yeah, uh, I still, that definitely still had my fucking suspicions, man, that Kratos was going to be the serpent and that's why he looks weird. But no, that nope. never happened. Never happened. Never going to happen, clearly. No, um, never going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that whole theming of the whole game was about them breaking fate so that that tapestry never happened. Never happened. Yeah. And uh, shout out to uh, Angra Boda. I loved her little turn at the end where she like comes and saves him and, and the mm-hmm. back and forth with him and Atreus is like, I I thought you weren't in any of the the tapestries. And she's like, I decided to change that. And I was like, fuck, it's so cool. I love her. Yeah. She's so fun. Yep. Um, and then he she just came out of nowhere with Fenrir and Kratos is like, who is that? <laughs> yeah, and that was awesome. He was like, what is happening? He's a friend. He just starts running. His. <laughs> yep. And then, it, dude, oh, that fight was just so cool. You just see things happening. You see your your Megander fighting in the back, like so much. Oh stuff. my god, that was such a set piece moment. Like, there was just, so much like, this happening. Giant I'm like, that's siege. crazy. Kratos like gra- gathers anyone has a cool ass chant, and he just like let's go in. Everything's like this is mm, like dark elves how, are fighting this, and stuff. This scene is a perfect example of using the capability of the new systems mm. and the technology because any other, I feel like any other game or any some or uh, some other, um, I mean, apologies, but lower game having all that stuff happen at once would freak the game out, but like no glitches, no, there was no frame cuts or anything. Like everything felt great. I, and since you're bringing up the technical aspect, I'll quickly mention, I, sh- I, we should have mentioned this in the game, but just to make it clear, I had no problems with this game. I don't think I had a single. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I had a single bug. I think once, what, what happened? There, I think there was one time something happened. Oh, um, uh, I opened a, a door and uh, the scene loaded in a little late. So like I opened and for a split second, I could see like half of the map, all white, and then very quickly the rest of the map coming. It, it lasted probably like half of a second, but I mean. Mm-hmm. That's really it. It was pretty yeah. much a perfect experience for me. Anything. Yeah, it was pretty much just perfect experience for me. I have nothing to complain about. Yeah. Very, very, very technical. Was, technically, rad. That As, patch that fixed two hundred things. Apparently, that worked. <laughs> yeah, and um, uh, that's very nice to say given our environment currently, where it seems like game when mm-hmm. games come out, they always have something wrong something with them. Wrong. So, so I'm yeah. glad to see at least this was able to come out again. Speaking only my situation, everything was really good. Yeah. All right, we talked about a little bit of the story. Before we move on, is there anything else you want to bring up? We we talked a little bit about the seeds, not much. I I, I enjoyed that very much. I loved um uh another jaw dropping moment for me was when first off, I loved the character progression of Thor, of like this drunk that relapses and like Throod is just begging for him to stop, and he, he and Kratos yeah. and him fight, and he just looks at him, he's like. We gotta be better for our children. And he just puts that yeah, it's so good. And then Thor goes to walk away and Odin's like, Why is he still alive? What are you doing? He's like, I tell I like you to kill, fucking, you kill. I like how he takes the fucking axe to the gut, by the way. Yeah. And, and just goes 
Yeah. He's like, get out of here. He's and then fucking... And then Odin, man. Odin grabs the spear. Bam, right in the middle. See, and I love the pacing in that scene. So beautiful. Of mm -hmm. slowly walking. He's like, what are you doing? Like, I told you to kill you, kill. And he's like, you hear the thunk? And he says, no. Yeah. And then just, I think, a second of, of dead air. And then the stab happens. And, and I'm like, oh. Like, I, at no point was I like, oh, that's going to happen. That. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so good. I, at that moment, I thought Kratos was going to grab the hammer. I think we all when did. He's, yeah, when I think he, we all cause did. Because I, I was anticipating, I was like, oh, you know, the collector's edition is the hammer. I'm assuming we'll use it at some point, but I'm like, I feel like that was too easy. So I'm wondering if, um, if it was, if they just didn't want to do it, you know, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at this thing right there. That this hammer. This? Yeah, that thing. It's audio, so cool looking. Audio listeners, I'm wielding the hammer. This is so cool. But, but um, um I, I feel like it, maybe they didn't do it because it was too easy. Yeah. So I, even if they didn't it, give it to us as a weapon, I was hoping maybe just that, like, for that scene. So, like, when he drops it and he gets killed, Kratos just gets raged. He was like, no, you know, he just gets pissed and he just grabs it and smacks him. So kind of like the Captain America moment where he just, yeah. he just you know, he's worthy of it. So he's so, grabs it. a bunch of issues that I only think about because Eric Williams himself on an interview with kind of funny said all of these things. He said, okay. that's too e That's why you didn't get Mjolnir. It's too okay. easy. That's what you, th that's what you think. That's what all, all of us thought would happen. Yeah. We get Mjolnir. And he's like, that's too easy. Didn't yeah. want to do it. It's, I didn't want to do it. So, the so we decided the, the to Spartan make a new thing. It was awesome. Honestly. I think I take it over the moon here. I found that incredibly satisfying when yeah. I stick something six times and then whole yeah. triangle to like, boom, and you get that big yeah. thump and you see the like the like there's a second and then doom, doom, mm -hmm. doom, doom, like all the hit, all the hit. Was, oh my gosh, so good. I feel like I did. I do prefer the spear better, even though it's not my favorite weapon in uh, out of the three. I do prefer it. Because I like that it has a sentimental value to it. It's like, you know, it's the drop near spear. It does, and it has the red bandana. It's the Spartan. It's what Spartans used. Yeah. And he was a Spartan. So, yeah. like, it's from his homeland. It's so, he, and that's what he used you to know how to or... You know how to use a spear, brother. It's the first weapon yes. a Spartan learns. Now, yep. so... you brought up weapons. I have to know. Okay. Favorite weapon. hard and it's also an answer that or a question that i can't necessarily answer as my favorite part of god of war is you don't have to pick i like that i can start with the leviathan axe thunk, 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 do a charge throw it at another thing take out the blades yep. do a wide attack switch to my spear do a bunch of combos back up mm -hmm. hold triangle boom throw throw a thing do the one of my favorite combos in the game you switch back to leviathan axe you do the left the L1 R1 in one's fluid motion calls back the axe, does a combo, and then you can like keep it going. So satisfying. Yeah. So again, a question yeah, no, it's, it's... I don't necessarily have an answer to. I think I like at the end of the day, I think I enjoy the spear slash Leviathan axe the most. And if I have to pick, I probably go Leviathan axe, but spear's right there. Yeah. What do you do? And see, it's it's so close between the bl the blades and the axe. I feel like the i just hmm i feel like just because i just i had i think i have to pick the blades just because it's a, a as i just had them for so long and i i just love that it's more of a uh aoe type yeah. of weapon like oh, yeah. like i just love being it's I'm like oh there's a couple of enemies fuck it let me grab the blades and start whacking them all at one time one of my favorite moves flame whiplash thunk, 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 yeah. you get that thing loaded up Right trigger, yep. you smack it on the ground, and then like an explosion mm -hmm. happens, and it's like fiery for a little while. So satisfying, so satisfying. Mm -hmm. yeah, love the combos. I, I think it just, but like I, part of me, I'm just like I love like, no, uh, like you know, uh, Nordic axes, and I just love the way it looks because just I love feeling that it's close to Thor's hammer. Like you could throw it, fucking grab it, and go <laughs> grab it back. And just that. And again, feeling, and dude. again, another point that you just brought up. It's like Thor's hammer. We already yeah. had Thor's hammer. It's just yeah. an axe and it's ice, except what you think about being a million. And yeah. also, shout out to them again, doing something different. 
It's not that yeah. he just holds his hand out. Although he does that sometimes, he snaps. Yeah. Yeah. Grinds it back. Sometimes he throws it. Kratos runs at him, snaps, hits him in the back of the head. Like, there's so many cool things that Thor does. Like, you yep. can tell he's just like a master at this thing and he's just nailing it. And also yep. a psychopath because he committed genocide <laughs> against the Giants. So you can tell that dude is a right asshole, probably. Um, yeah. But I got sidetracked. Um, talking about the weapons, all these things. Yeah. Very much love all of those. Yes. Trying to decide where I want to go next, Alex. Hmm. Anything you want to talk about specifically before I move on to something else? What was your favorite realm? Ooh, that's a good question. That's something I wouldn't have thought about asking. My favorite realm. It would be, I think it would be between Vanaheim because I felt like there was a lot of culture there and Sveltaheim. Yeah. Um, because Sveltaheim has, correct me if I'm wrong. So Sveltaheim um, is the dwarven city. Uh, no, sorry. Um, so, no, I, I, I just corrected myself in the, in the head. Um, um, I just said it. Uh, Vanaheim so what's has the crater, Vanaheim? right? Huh? Vanaheim has the crater. The Vanaheim is the one where Freya no, and Freya is from, and yeah. the, and that has the crater. I'm just making sure I'm I'm correct on that. I think so. I'm pretty sure it does because you you get the boat from Freya, and you use the boat to get to oh, the crater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So yep. so just making sure I wasn't yep. wrong there. Um probably Vanaheim because I love the crater so much and you have a completely different atmosphere if you go to Vanaheim much more woodsy you see animals moving around also loved the subquests excuse me in Vanna uh, in, uh, uh, the crater of course you learn about Faye but also you have a mission to kill dragons which yeah a little sad to me but again they were doing they're bad they weren't supposed to be there so I get it um, yeah. but when you were killing them I don't know if you noticed this Alex but but slowly, Tre Atreus says this, but you also see it. Animals are slowly coming back as you're killing dragons. So, like, I would kill some. You could see birds. I kill a couple more. You see, like, um, something on the waters. And, like, when you kill them all, like, ev like everything comes back. You could see, like, deers and things. Like, like, all the animals are coming back. And Atreus, like, hears them talking and things. Very cool. Very cool. So, I, I, yeah, I, I, didn't I, I pick... Yeah, I didn't, really, I didn't notice that. I pick, uh, I pick Vanaheim. What, what, what would you pick? I probably pick Sovaltaheim. I it's a good choice. Real good. Real good. Yeah, I love the dwarven city. And that's our I first area we go to, right? Huh? Is it, that's that's our first area, right? That we go to? Yeah, yeah, we go to Nidavellir. Yeah. yeah, that's the the dwarven city. I just like I like how everything looks. It reminds me a lot of Hobbiton, to be honest. It yes, and also has um the lady of the Shire. Uh, also has the lady. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. It has so you, the yeah it has the lady it has that the train cart ride. Very cool. The it has the mines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I like going going up to up north to where the rigs are. Do you find the the whale or the, I forget the, oh, the, the beautiful the, sub quest uh, there. Yeah, I forget about I forget the whole the name of the thing, but that I do that too. area. Um. Yeah. If we're bringing up side quests, the home guffer from Alfheim oh, yeah. is awesome. Oh. Awesome! Yeah, cool they are so they're so fucking cool. Did you cool. notice that like once they got together, they just dispersed yep. into stars? Yeah. Like so uh, another beautiful thing about this game, they they uh, Mimir pretty much talks, or is it? I don't remember if it's Mimir or Freya, but they bring up like, well, right, well, what happens when we save this one? Well, it's like, well, they're gonna mate, but when they mate, they die. But but upon their death, they know they're leaving children. Uh, behind for a better world and both freya and kratos relate to that very much and and oh, i'm getting a little teary-eyed even saying it but it was it was a very nice moment and you see them oh yeah yeah you, they kind of dance and they sing for a little bit they slowly i said i stood there staring oh yeah no i watched time, it the whole time and slowly going up and then like you can see goes, it, you see it finish they they slowly fall a little bit and then like almost like yep. like pollen off a flower just yep scattering thousands of those little things i was like that's so cool and also um i don't know if you heard this because i heard i, I, I don't know like what you hear in voice lines i don't know if like you know you might you might not hear certain things because like stuff is happening but um they're not supposed to be that big so like mm. since they weren't being able to move around like that caused them to like get really big or something something like that interesting um so they're actually not supposed to be that big it's actually bad or something so just wanted to bring that up 
so that's why the, all the yep. other ones are a lot smaller because yeah uh, and also they they got the song back too which was very nice mm-hmm. um, um good i liked some time the best but like my i kind of enjoyed going back to midgard post thimble winter because i liked the changes between 2018 and this one seeing all it was like oh i was able to go through there before and now i can't you know and like uh being able to just see the differences i i, I enjoyed that i have to be honest here it's gonna make me seem stupid if i'm being frank but that surprised me when we met, went back to midgar and it was a big area i thought we would go back maybe as a oh remember that you know like a nostalgia bait remember midgar mm-hmm. from the last game anyways bah, 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 like moving on yeah. similar to asgard yeah. as you never like went there but you yeah. saw it. i thought that was going to be midgar where we, you go you see it but you never really get to interact mm-hmm. with it yeah, um, they just made it. Yeah, I'm just, I, I loved I loved the guard as well. Just made it a little slightly smaller. Yeah, which I was. I mean, I was fine with. I, yeah. Honestly, I think the length of the game is almost perfect. You can maybe oh, shave no, no, off yeah, a yeah, little yeah. bit, but in in reality, I, I think I think the game is pretty close to a perfect time and experience. Oh yeah. Again, you can maybe cut. I think you can cut a couple side quests off to make this perfect. Mm-hmm. You can I cut, platinumed like, the it things. at forty seven hours. I think I did forty eight. I think and it should be pretty clean because I don't think I left it on. Mm. So that should be a pretty yeah, accurate I, time of when I if, did it. Um, I'm glad that like that counter didn't count towards it. But like if you look at the like where you go to your trophies or or you go to your like the, your games and it says overall, it says 76 hours <laughs> for mine. So it so that that it's counter that counts counted. it. Even yeah. me having it yeah on, but the actual in game counter it said 47. So that probably stops when you pause it, I assume, then, and then yeah. the actual mm-hmm. play thinks you're still playing it. Yeah, because I had it paused sense. for like an hour to cook dinner, and then I came back to it, and it was still, and I saved it just to see, like I tested it, and it was still the same. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So you had about, that's interesting that you could figure out, though, that you're like, oh, so there's about 10 hours of, of time, like, yeah, that was, it was just on. And that was just mm-hmm. an interesting point. Um, We, we kind of brought it up earlier, but uh, to bring it up again... There's a little bit of a discourse around certain issues of the puzzles in this game that I wanted to, to kind of pick your brain about and ask what your thoughts are. So I, I'll keep it. Uh, I'll basically introduce you to Rob. I know you don't you're not on social media because you're sane. So you don't get on that as much as I do. Uh, but to put it, there's certain people that don't really like the puzzles. There's certain people that like the puzzles There's certain people that think there are too many. Some people think uh, don't like that. Um the characters tell you the puzzle too quickly. Some people think they aren't told fast enough. Some people, uh, you know, it's a myriad of things. What do you think about the puzzles? Did you like them? Were you stuck on any of them? Did you have an issue that a lot of people are having where specifically it seems like Mimir or Atreus just talk a lot? Like, for instance, um, I saw a clip of... um, uh, it was Kratos, and as soon as he walked into a thing, uh, I th- Atreus literally, like, in two seconds went, I think there's a hole over there, like, immediately. Like, as soon as he walked in, he was like, I haven't even walked, I haven't been in this room for two seconds. This thing's already talking to me. Gotcha. I have to be honest, I don't think I noticed that in my playthrough. I think a few, there were a few times where I went to do a puzzle, and mm-hmm. as I was doing it, he was telling me what I should be doing, and I was like, I mean, I'm doing the puzzle, so I don't know why I'm being told. I'm doing no. the correct things, so this is strange. Aside from that, uh, I've talked a lot. What, what did you? What do you think about the puzzle I conversation? Really have, I didn't really have any issues with the puzzles. I mean, I was fine with them. I mean, I had certain ones. For example, I'll say in Alfheim in the temple, there's one that I had to do to get a legendary chest, and it was. Yeah, you probably remember this one because this is the one that I was so confused at how it even worked. But I um, there was a. It look, kind of looks like an elevator. And it draw and it, it, the elevator has a legendary chest in it, but it's being held by a uh, a gear that you gotta hit with the axe. And when you hit the gear, it drops. But on the side, it's that thing that you turn. That's the, the the stone that bounces the axe off. Yeah. And you and you have the and the, next to you is the chain to turn that with that said that said thing the mechanism. So I was trying to turn it, trying to move it, trying to get it accurate enough to hit it to bounce off, but it would never stick. And then I just started randomly just going back and forth and then eventually just hit and I didn't even go through it. It just I just hit the ga- the cage and it hit it. And so I was like, oh, OK, so that one worked. But that was really the only one that gave me an issue like that. 
Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I was some that was like, oh, let me see if I could find it. Like, you know, I took, I gave it like maybe five minutes. I was like, let, let me, I'll come back to this in a second. And then I went back and it was fine. Did you have any issues specific about the talking aspect at all? Did I, you honestly, find the characters talking didn't, too much? Didn't or? even notice. Hmm, I, I I actually have to agree. I didn't even think this was an issue until people had brought it up, and yeah. maybe it was happening and I wasn't noticing, or maybe yeah. um I was not to like toot my own horn, but like maybe I was going fast and I didn't hear it. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't again, know. again, I'll say like there were a few times I did them, and he and as I was doing the puzzle, the guy was like trying to tell me what to do, and I'm like, eh, I'm doing it already. Don't know why your AI is telling me this. Maybe you don't know that I'm doing it. I don't know. Yeah, I just I wanted even, to. Never I just, even noticed. I just wanted to pick your brain. I was curious because uh, that's kind of been the not the main discourse, but a lot of the discourse around the game. Clearly, the game's really good. If that's the one issue you have with the game, <laughs> is yeah. the guy talks a lot, and, and the game's yeah. pretty good. Then probably. Um, yeah. Do you miss the stories? Didn't get a lot of Mimir stories. I feel like. But there were different oh, yeah, conversations. No, it, 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 were, there was different. There was different types of stories yeah. in a way. Yeah, it was more on the Freya side, yeah. and yeah, I like that. It's so not, it, it wasn't just Mimir the whole time. It, it, it a lot of no, Kratos yeah. talking, a lot of Freya. I think the the dialogue was shared more than Mimir. Yeah. Every time you get into a boat, it's Mimir talking. Yeah, I think it's because I mean I feel like we heard so much yeah. stories in the first game that were like, well, we don't want to repeat anything. We want to make sure that it feels fresh or even similar to what we're what the game is about. So that so like you know when Freya talks about you know her marriage and then Mimir is talking about you know just going back and forth with her and her things like that about Thor. I'm like, oh, it's it's relatable to this game, and I enjoyed that. I do too. Yeah, I, I enjoy pretty much everything specifically about that too. Um. Yeah, I agree. Let's see what what else do we have to discuss here. We're pretty much nailing everything else. I want to. Uh, we talked a little bit about characters, but I want to quickly go back to Brock and Sentry, uh, as I found yeah. this relationship very touching, and also it was kind of built up throughout the whole game. And I feel like um, it was a, it was a like C plot that kind of turned out to be an A plot, sort of. Um, and yeah. also we had a new taste of revenge at the very end of the game, but we won't get to that quite yet. But, um, yeah. I love the slow setup with Brock. I love that we start the game with Sindri sneaking out with Atreus. We're going to get mm -hmm. to Atreus in a second. Um, but, uh, I love that little setup. You hear the, the dirty secret Sindri has, you know, yep. Brock has died before and I, I couldn't find all of him. So it's, it's just yeah, partially him. Last, He's missing. Yeah, uh, three I, out of the four souls. Three out of the four. Uh, do you remember them? I think it was direction. Mm. Oh my God. It's like direction, art, thought, something like that. Yeah. Can you look that up? I'm actually curious, but, uh, the slow setup of that, then they set up the lady won't see partial beings. So you have to be corporeal because you're incorporeal, similar to how the, um, Valkyries were in the first game. They are they are not complete, so they're being taken over. And the uh setup that if you die incomplete, there is no afterlife. You are gone. That you're just, was you're just gone. That is the scariest thought to me, at least. Where everyone else is fine, but if you're gone, that's it. There is no part two. Brock is the wind. Pretty much as Comporio as that. And partially Sindri's fault. And I'm curious if that was part of his kind of meltdown that he had. That, But also, like, v uh, Vengeance is, uh, is easily brought up in this franchise as it's kind of made around Vengeance. I mean, oh, the entire right. first trilogy was. Go ahead. It's a four, four form, mind, direction, and luck. I think he was He's missing direction. Missing... I'm pretty sure. Was it? I think so i think he says uh i don't think we know but there's one offhanded thing that he said brock was missing direction and i think that's why he never could like sure that's what he said i could be wrong but um what what were you what did you make of the brock and century fallout relationship you can take it however you will and of course uh how we leave century at the end of the game very sad of course Oh, yeah, it it was very hard to honestly very hard to see 
such uh, an easygoing guy such as Sindri and being a germaphobe and being, oh, you know, like, don't want to touch anything, but, like, you know, he cares for things, to losing the, so he says, his only family. Yeah. You know, even though Kratos and Atreus were like, I thought we were your family. Which, again, Kratos is like, touching scene. I guess, yeah, Kratos is like, I guess we're not. No, no, yeah. He's like, 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 I thought so, too. Uh, Yeah, well, no, 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 so he, uh, He's like, that was my last family. And he pretty much tells him to go when they try to, like, make up with him when he has Brock, like, laying yep. on the table. And mm-hmm. Sentry's like, he's like, he's my only family. And and, and Kratos is like, we should go. And Atreus like, I thought we were his family, too. And Kratos just says, we were. And then you just walk yep, away. Right, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Like, there's some of the writing in this game is yeah. it's impeccable. Yeah, it's I'm sorry. But, it, it um, really is. But after seeing that... If you notice, through his armor, Sindri's armor slowly throughout the game gets dirtier and and then dingier. He di- it gets so more I it know- gets more rusted looking. So I noticed when we end, saw at the very end with uh, with him and, hitting thing. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, he, yeah. When he looks, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say it about real quick. But the funeral yeah. when he pops up, you can see his armor is all rusted or dirty looking. And he's all dingy looking and yeah. stuff, and that, and it, like, like you can say he doesn't not care. Yeah, he's just. You can tell he's been existing. He's not doing anything. Yeah. It looks like he's just yeah, kind he of there. Like just seeing the progression of him, pretty much going, and he's not going insane, but he's just going into depression. He's just depressed. And, like yeah. it's yeah, he's just it's it's just crazy. What did you think about him getting the last raw? Everyone kind of, uh, which another Ken, I keep saying this, it's becoming overdone but again a great moment in the game mm-hmm. when odin goes i will never stop to atreus he's like i will never stop and he just goes yeah. i wish you didn't say that and he yep. says the spell that he does at the very beginning of the game just to, to to get Fenrir in the, the knife that he didn't even know yeah. that he was doing yeah he does it into the marble puts him in the marble and he's just in that marble yep. gives it to his dad kratos looks at it and he's like I told you I wouldn't. Sorry, looking at phrase like oh. I told you I wouldn't uh, cho- choose life or death uh, for you again. And he yeah. hands it to her, and she's like, "You know what? I've moved past this. I don't, I don't need it anymore." And then Sindri out of nowhere, boop, <laughs> just in one foul, one I, again speed. And then the, just the walk, and then just, yep, and the, then just walks away, and then boop, again disappears. A good line. That's what happens. That's all he says. Because he wanted to know what happened to him if he died. So he's like, yep. that's what happens. Because he knows, like, they go to Valhalla. All those guys, they go, where do I go? I made all this. Like, like, I, like what happens to me? Yeah. And, and I just love that callback of Sindri just simply looking. He's like, that's what happens. And then, like, that cool teleport thing that they do. Like, God, it looks so cool. Like, it reminds me a lot of, um, if you remember the movie Jumper with Hayden Christensen. It's like he teleports. It, yeah, he he kind of teleports, but it, you can see the animation. It kind of like it goes, like it just silly crazy. That's what he does. He like kind of like just goes. That's cool. And it disappears. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. That's it's injury. It was it. I got. I was able to do that la- the funeral as my very last thing. Mm-hmm. I made you. Uh, I uh, when uh, you told yeah. me you called me when you beat the game, and I was like, and and, and you were playing the last parts, and I was like. I didn't do this because I didn't. I didn't know. Again, there should have been yeah. a disclaimer all the times we were in us talk. At some point, yeah. when I was doing that funeral, it's like, hey, by the way, brother, you should do this last. <laughs> like, if you're gonna stop playing the game after this, you should definitely do this last. Or what? How? Or what they? Or what they tell you to do all the time in the game is like, hey, before we do our next mission, we should go explore. Hey, before we do the funeral, maybe we should wrap everything else up. Like, all it's all I needed because that is yeah. a perfect way to put the controller down because. Every yep. other way you're going to put the controller down is unnatural. You're just going to lay it down in the middle of an area and you're just going to walk away. Instead yep. of that situation, you do the funeral last. You sit there. You have a nice moment. Sindri comes out, kind of says his farewells. He slowly walks away, stands there for a second, and then whoosh, goes. A little bit of dialogue back and forth. And that's well, even a much it, nicer way of even putting him. Kratos even tried to, te- he was he was like Sindri, and he was trying to talk to him. And Nothing. Sindri was like, don't don't even, like, he's, he's still, he still had, he that 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 that's severed oh. that, that relationship has severed and it's crazy because you know normally you would think you know in games you know when there's things like that they get fixed 
not nope. this. Not, this, not this. this is severed, and it's not sucks. even a little bit. Not even, not even a hint. Like he doesn't look any better. He, all you, he looks worse. <laughs> like, no, like yeah. he looks like he's in a worse state than he was prior. Like, cause he, cl- cause it's more evidence that like he got the revenge, and it doesn't, it didn't change Do anything. anything. He's yeah, didn't still anything. sad. He still doesn't have Brock. It doesn't matter. It's exactly. Because well, he what, blames to be anything. He blames Kratos. He blames Kratos. He probably blames himself too. I mean, some myriad of things. I can't wait to see more of his story. I'm sure we get some more later on. We've avoided talking about, not really avoided, but I haven't brought it up. There's an aspect of this game that I, I'll have to say I, do, I don't love. It seems like other people may have. Okay. I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but uh, partial of the game, you play Atreus, which is a fun surprise. You get to play as him. He learns like spells and things. He's much different. Um, what did you think about that? When you, when you were able to control Atreus, when you're able to walk around and have his little journey, what did you think? It was fine. I like it was. It's like, a, OK. Imagine. Going like imagine driving. A, like a, a like a Lamborghini or a, or a Bugatti or whatever it is. And then going to like. A, 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 a like a regular ass Mustang or something, mm. you know, it's still fun. But it's not as good as what you just had, like AI Kratos being the you know top of the line shit. You get all these fucking weapons, like you go to Atreus, you're like, I got a bow. Like at least give me. Like I almost even thought about. I was like, why didn't you give him? Why didn't you give him a spear or a staff or something? Like like you only gave him a bow. Yeah, like I'm just swacking people with this fucking bow. I think you put it beautifully. I think the analogy is perfect and everything. It's not to say this isn't a terrible experience. Like it's it's terrible, not, but like, but when yeah. you give me the filet mignon, and mm-hmm. then you give me the choice steak, the- I'm gonna want the filet mignon. And it's not that I hate the choice steak. I've had it a million mm-hmm. times. It's beautiful. It's a ri- or a ribeye. Like I love them, but it's mm-hmm. not the other thing. It's so like yeah. when when it's when I go meet like it's like I'm halfway done the, yeah. with the filet mignon. I'm enjoying it. And then halfway through, they they pull it away, and he's like, "You'll get this later. Have some of this other thing." And I'm like, "Okay, I, mean, I have okay. this. I, I have mean, this fucking small ass pork chop." It's like, okay, it's good. I mean, it's good. I love that. I've had them yeah, a bunch yeah. of times. I love them. Yeah, but I still it's see hard. the filet mignon. It's still in view. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, like I still like the other thing. So yeah. I think you put it beautifully. It's not they, bad. Yeah, okay, for like, any he, stretch, like it's not bad. But it's just they could have made it even. They could have made it better. If they would let me mess with the bow a little bit, yeah. All I did was whack people. You got with the, bow. the you like, got the you get the Jotun one. Yeah. You got the Asgard one, and then you got the Hunter one. The you the one that bows, so you Faye just made him. The one that Faye made him. Yeah. Yeah, you got three bows, and all you do is upgrade it one, tiers one, two, and three. You yeah. can't do any. You can't put anything on it. Can't do anything to it. I'm like, you get four yeah. spells or three spells, something like that. I thought I was about to. All out with spells. I was like, "Oh, he's gonna be like magic when I play him. This is gonna be sick." No, it's just arrows. I was like, "Okay." I mean, that's not as fun, but again, yeah, still fun, but nowhere near as good as the other stuff. And it's just not. It's distracting a little. Like when I was playing him, mm-hmm. although the story was good because it was kind of like you were sort of undercover the whole time. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, um, it was high tense, especially when you go to him after you just murdered Heimdall like you just got done killing him and you go Dude. you go to Asgard and everyone's talking about it and everyone knows it's yep. you <laughs> but yep. but Odin gave you the all clear so no one can do anything about it well to be fair well he was like he didn't do it his father did that's true and again yeah. Odin's like I don't give a fuck what he did I need him for the rift yeah, got up. Yeah. Like he's I like, love- there was a piece of shit, anyways. That's true. He's like, let's not pretend like he wasn't a dick. But I just love hey. that Odin over and over again. He's like, how how much more do I clear do I have to say this? I don't care about anything else but this fucking hole. I don't yeah. care about anything else but this. Stop coming to me about any. If it's not about the hole, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, talk to me. like it's yep. clear that he is obsessed. Like that's I'm all he talks so about. Obsessed, dude. As soon as the trace comes back, he's like, "Did you learn anything about the mask?" Like, like, like he's just like, he, and and he Bro, immediately. I hear. 
he he looks at the mask like actually i mistranslated this like it wasn't to helheim it was like this other place he's yeah. like oh okay okay yeah yeah so go there with uh through uh thor or through or whatever oh no yeah so so much good yeah, stuff yeah it was through yeah so much good stuff thor. also we we glossed by it the heimdall fight so satisfying Dude. So satisfying. Oh yeah. Oh, so and then he was like, and then he stopped, and then he was like, "Wait, if you're not gonna finish it." He's like, "You don't get to decide." Just pressuring him, man. Fucking pressuring him. His, our love is like, I'm not gonna be decided to fate by some. Uh, I think he says mortal or something or something of that nature. Like he says, like you're not gonna decide this for me, and he turns turns his mm-hmm. arm like into whatever mad bifrost magic or whatever he's using and then you fight him again yeah. and again and one of the coolest lines leading up to that was uh he's like you're gonna fight heimdall he's like i've fought better gods than better him gods. i'm like oh my god yep. you have you fought way better you're like you're fine he's got he's beating zeus he's beating zeus like barehanded almost so like he's good yeah yeah, you beat the fuck out of Zeus. Oh my god, you beat the sh- <laughs> You beat, dude. You, that is one of the most satisfying He's things going, in that ah, game. Ah, He's just ah, punching ah, him. Ah, He's just punching ah, him. Oh my god. That, so. I, dude, I remember playing that scene. It almost felt it was so hype. A little disturbing. Oh no, it's like, disturbing. Like I, I kept, yeah. As it kept going, I'm like, dude, how much longer are you gonna keep going? Yeah, it's like, okay, you could stop. <laughs> you could, you could stop now. But I, I love, uh, like he taunts him. He's like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll stick the pig. Like I'll kill your son. And he just thunk, and it explodes the spear, and he just loses an entire arm. Oh my god, it's so good. Yep. Um, and then he chokes him to death. <laughs> oh my god, sorry, that I'm was. Trying to, sorry, I'm trying to find a pair of headphones because these are dying. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to. No, yeah, so you're that's good. Because look at me, I'm doing like this. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Fix, fix your shit. You're, you're fine. But um. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we're getting close to the end, anyways. Let's let's see. I got some. Some notes here. What else do we need to talk about? We talked about Jirafnir. We talked about Norm. I loved how Fenrir was tied into all this. Um, mm-hmm. Like, in it was indirect, which I love. Like, uh, he, like he was reborn into this other thing. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, well, it's I, crazy because I, I can't remember. Is there certain mythologies where it says that Fenrir is supposed to eat Odin? I think that, I yeah, that I was think a so. I, well, there's a, Fenrir, I think, is the one that actually... Or isn't Fenrir the one that actually causes Ragnarok sometimes? Or no, no, that was Skull and Hottie. Oh, okay. Oh, Skull, yeah, Skull and Hottie is... does that. Yeah, Skull and Hottie are the two wolves. One cat, one eats the sun, and one eats the moon. Okay. And one eats the moon, and one cages the other one. Like they chase it. Yeah, I remember that. I just for some reason I I thought I remembered. Um, in Norse mythology, Fenrir starts Ragnarok, and I don't know why. I don't remember. Yeah, for some reason I thought for some reason I, I thought it was a uh, Fenrir is like the one who finished or not because I know he Surtur finish like finish like destroys Asgard, but yeah. I don't know if if Fenrir is, if it kills you know Odin. By the way, since you brought up Fen uh uh Surtur, how beautiful was the center Dude. of the world? What was that came Dude. out of nowhere? Oh. I was just walking around and like, and I like how that man, that, that dude is just, it's just a, a dude like made out of molten, like, and he's just, oof, oof. he's just chill. Just blacksmithing. Oh, and also, I love that you walk to him and he goes, uh, go wow. away, go away. Yeah. You just go flying. I was like, this is so cool. And you talk to him and he's like, um, he's like, uh, he's like, I need you. And he's like, no. He's like, why? He's like, because it's to protect her. He's like, pointing like, to his wife Mm -hmm. and then um and then he sees his blades he's like wait let me see that like holds it for a second he has primordial uh fire is that what he says yeah primordial fire because it was uh because it was made by um aries oh oh that's right it was made by aries i thought um uh has uh uh hephaestus hephaestus yeah he didn't make it right no no. No, okay and no aries made Ares made them as a as a gift to uh, to Kratos, and then he to, uses them to, to murder to them, them right? to, to yeah to use to use for to to destroy everything, and then he uses them on the village that they were supposed to be against Ares, and that's the village that he didn't tell Kratos that his family was there. It and was there. Killed him. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. And then they make them crazy story, dude. Yeah. I've been going back to Kratos' thing, so I thought about. It. Before we go back, because we talked about it, platinuming the PS4 version. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I thought about whenever I don't have anything right, going to God of War One, 
playing all of them. I think I'm going then, to as well. And then, yeah. and then playing like all of them in order and then going 2018 and then the, in the PS4 version. I would so like I to as well. It. So I can really know this franchise better. The, just, yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah. Since you brought it up. Yeah. It's very dark. When you really think about it, like he killed his family. He probably remembers it. And also as a reminder, he's wearing their ashes for the mm-hmm. rest of his life. Yeah. And by the way, he's kind of immortal. Not really, but sort of like at the same time, he's like half God. So like, He's, yeah. he lives for thousands of years presumably so like he just always has this yeah because he was a demigod <laughs> yeah he, he was a demigod which was like half god and then i guess he still is still I don't maybe know. he yeah. seems like a he seems close enough he's killing them all anyway yeah yeah um we didn't bring it up i actually want to bring it up before we leave what did you think of Faye? Mm. how Faye was handled in this so like they ripped that bandit oh. out pretty quick in the first five hours of the game you see her so I, I don't feel like we got enough of her. I feel like we got that one in the beginning. We got that small, that small one with the fucking hand on the chest. It's fucking weird. And so then we cool. get one more. And then we get. I forget. Maybe I guess it's one more of. Oh, we just walk at the with siege. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's we walk one with like her and things like that. There's and, one when you go to sleep after everything. Yes. There's one like halfway through when you go to sleep. Um, I don't remember what that was. At. Oh, it was um, after Atreus leaves and you go looking for him or something, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then at the very end of the game, before yeah, the siege. Cause that, yeah, because it was like, I wish we had instead of. And he's like, oh, then that's right. And she's telling him like, what he has to do in 2018. Like, hey, you have to cut these yeah. trees and you have to like burn yeah, and she's, me. And she's marking and you them. Take, yeah, you got to put me in my ashes yeah, at the highest she- peak in all the realms. Yeah, because she was and she's sick and stuff like that. Yeah, so good. Like I, yeah. So I, I mean, we got a good amount. I, I feel like I just, well, I would like to see them in a different environment. Other so, than you, in the so, woods. so you say you eat something? So, <laughs> that's true. So you're saying you didn't get enough? Yeah, because I, I again, I want to know more about their backstory, you know. But like, I get, I know it's a mystery, things like that. I just, I, because like now my 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 brain is like. What what if what what is it? what's happened? How did they meet? Because they kept men- they kept mentioning they're like oh we hated each other when we first met yep. oh how did you first meet? It's not like you you know he was half dead so how did you meet? How did he get to Norse mythology? I like there's so many questions on how they even met. And I'm yep. like so I was like hey, I'd love to know. I would too. I w- I would very much love to know. Um, uh, I I I think I like what they did with Faye. They- we got to know a little bit more about her. We got to learn the way that her more more of her outlook on life. We've got drip like droplets of her. We knew she was a strong warrior. One because she she had the Leviathan axe in the first place, right? So we knew a lot about her already. But we got to know her even more with a little bit pepper throughout this game, and also um, in the backstory, which was messing me up because she is played by the actress. Alex had to tell me this. I didn't know this. She's the blonde chick in Daredevil. In Daredevil, yeah. And I was like, why do I recognize Faye? And mm-hmm. I didn't even think about her being modeled after somebody. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah. She just, dude, she, it, the red hair, the reddish hair was, was throwing me off. Because, you know, in real life, she's a full-on blonde. Yeah. So, like, the red kind of, like, I was like, oh, It blew like my mind familiar. when you told me that, Alex, because I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Because I literally... Yeah, was like, why do I recognize a computer? Like, what is happening? Yeah. Why do I? Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like I've seen her before? And again, I was yeah. very stupid of me and not thinking like, oh, she was modeled after somebody uh, similar yeah. to uh, Miranda Lawson. Like, she's like clearly yeah. modeled after that character. Modeled so, after that person, yeah. A uh, person, not character. Uh, 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 quickly, I will say um, something that really hit me near the end of the game. It's the last uh time with Faye and that scene mm-hmm. and, he, and he's like uh he's, he's pretty much telling her like that he's gonna miss her and stuff and he's like mm-hmm. uh to grieve heavily means to have loved fully mm-hmm. and that is oh, i mean come on like that that is that's gonna stick that i think if 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 i have to say one thing about this entire franchise that will stick with me mm-hmm. is that sentence that line yeah that that cements a lot of what we experience throughout our lives as humans is 
to grieve heavily is to love fully and that's gonna really stay yep. with me and that was very beautiful but beautifully oh, said yeah. i would love to know how they came up with that perfect cement uh cementation of of what grief and love feels like all right um we didn't really talk about the epilogue, so as as a pseudo epilogue of this spoiler cast, we'll also end with the epilogue of the of the um, game. What did you think of how we kind of slowly s ended the game? Um, of course, we we stick with Kratos, it, and uh, to since we're speaking specifically about the ending, I do want to quickly bring up. I found the ending quite safe, although I still enjoyed it. What, what did you think about the ending? It doesn't seem like they really took too many risks a lot of it did no, feel safe no, they, they end they ended it to where like how they did the the first one it's like they made it to where like oh you know we could continue or it could just let your imagination wander and this is where in you know this is where we stop yeah i i, I found that interesting because it it does again I, i'll say it, it it definitely ends safely not many people even die um brock dies and um thor dies and that's kind of the biggest deal in the game um so i, I once i beat it, i was like yeah that was played pretty safe but again i had fun so i i i don't like my critique being not enough people died because it seems like a very strange criticism so i'm not living that at all i just wanted to point out that i did find it safe although i love the game so i don't really care anything you want to talk about specifically the epilogue of course Atreus leaves. We've talked about that. Going to see if he can find more giants because he knows there's more out there. I'm unsure if he was talking about specifically the marbles or if there's giants in hiding somewhere. I'm not sure about that. Did, what did you think? Uh, oh, Alex might be fixing his headphone situation. Um, what did you think about that? Can you, can you hear me? There you go. I can hear you now. Sorry. Oh, I was you're trying gonna, to, to fix this. Yeah, you're, you're trying to fix it. Would you, would you, uh, no, no, no. So specifically with the... Because uh, we're talking about near the ending. Um... Atreus saying specifically, hey, I'm, I'm going to go see if I can find other surviving giants. Do you think he's talking about specifically about the marbles, like, because they hid themselves in the marbles? Or do you think, like, there's, like, like a town I, of them somewhere? What, what did you make I of was, that? Hmm. I found that strange. Uh, not strange, but I was uh, interested. I was like, oh, interesting. Like, maybe I missed something. Like, how do we know there's more? Because of the marbles, oh, maybe? I, 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 maybe? Like, I mean, there was. He seemed very certain. He seemed very certain, like that. There are only more. a handful of marbles, so I mean, assuming there was like you know thousands of giants. That that's are... true. So maybe there's like thousands of marbles. Maybe I, I was. I found that interesting. I was like, okay, well, I wonder why he knows that, or he seems so sure. Maybe he's. He seems to have magic, magic in his head. Like it's un, kind of undefined magic. He seems to like know things and and do stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Assuming he's very strong, so he, maybe he has some inkling of their presence or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and I'll quickly read from this uh, synopsis notes. Um, uh, when uh, uh, Kratos finds the mural depicting him, uh, he, he's uh, being depicted as a beloved, peaceful god revered by all. Yeah, because I mean, he was because he was being told he was like, oh, who. Who uh, Odin tells him this uh, yeah, after Odin, making like, yeah, the spear? Looks up to you. No one will. You don't know what it is nobody to be loved you. or praised or anything like that. Like you are. Yeah, nobody prays to you. Yeah, and he found that mural of like people will revere him later on. Yeah, and and that's that's how it ends. Uh, a quick quick uh, brings up. Um, I loved the closing of Freya. Fixing the Valkyrie Queen situation with uh, Ganae. Um, he she kind of deals with that. Uh, you kill her, yep. which very awesomely. Yeah. You, yeah. She was just like, do it. Yeah. She's like, please let me fix you, and she's like, get it over with. And I'm like, damn. Oh, she's. She was like, I, she had to do it. So what? I mean, yeah. I mean, she, she, she offered, and she said no. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. The Asir's uh, move. Uh, they are moving in with Vanaheim, which is unprecedented because they have hated each other for thousands of years. Um, we f we see uh, Sif. Oh my god, I'm blanking on the guy's name. Um, the boar. We see him talking to the boar Warsh. guy. Um, Heat of Valir? Yeah, that sounds uh, right. I think that's his. Yeah, that, that heat sounds of, right. Heat of something. They're like, uh, yeah. they're like talking to each other to like make camps yeah. for everyone who survived Ragnarok. Um. Uh. 
of course, Thor died, and the last time we saw Mjolnir was being tossed at Thrud. Oh, Hild Sivini. Thank That's you. Amazing. Thank you. And then um, Mjolnir was thrown at Thrud really hard, and she went flying. Ooh, uh, but, yeah. But she lived. Uh, we don't see Mjolnir until a very specific point in Alfheim where you're walking out and you see um, Thrud, Thrud at the Mjolnir, Mjolnir, says, I'll make you proud, father, picks up Mjolnir, and just, Gah! like, just. Yeah, fucking, and she picks it up. Looks sick as fuck. Oh my god. Meaning she's worthy of it. Oh, and I speaking of her, I don't think that's a thing. This. I'm assuming her weapon was similar to that, only she could pick it up. Unclear. Unclear because I, I don't think the pick up Mjolnir thing is a thing in Norse mythology. I think that's a Marvel thing. So um, I don't think, I don't think no, I don't think so because remember uh Kratos was what went to grab it and he couldn't. When it was thrown, he went to grab it and it was stopped right there. He couldn't he couldn't pull it back. That's a good point. I thought that was Thor, like calling it back to him because yeah, it was there for a second. It was like, oh, sh-. like he, he, like he, it won't, it won't budge. And then he, mm-hmm. and then Thor, then Thor called it back because it was there for a quick second. I, I interpreted it as it was just too strong. Like it was being it through the force was pulling him. He went to pull it again. Could be wrong. I, mm-hmm. it seemed like it was going either way because. Odin picked it up. Is Odin worthy? Like, well, I, he, I mean, he's, I would say I, no. True. If we're going by like the, the like, no, I, so I don't think. Um, I don't. Again, I don't think that's a Norse thing. I think that was made up for Marvel, because mm. I, because like, it, I, I don't even think. Um, uh, there's, I don't remember. I, I, th- I don't even think like the. It was just a regular ass hammer. I think. I don't think it was like imbued with thunder I, he could use thunder but i don't think like the th- in the norse mythology well, the, like the actual hammer had th- like thunder in it well apparently well mirnir was created as a gift to odin uh in, in, in originally but the hammer was to the handle the the, the was dwarf small, who was making right? yeah the dwarf who was making it didn't have enough time yeah so he made the he made he made the hilt too small and Odin was like, well, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. It's, and Thor was like, oh, this is perfect. So he kept it. Yeah. So I'm, do do you, do you know, do you know if anyone can pick it up? I'm trying to see. I don't know who could, Norse mythology. Let's see. Uh, according to modern versions of God, Thor. Okay, so in Norse mythology, no, he wasn't. There were some characters that could lift the Majora hammer, but the difference between them that Thor could use the hammer, while most of the other the lifters could not. Because yeah, because I remember there's a giant that could lift up the hammer. Because Mjolnir was Mjolnir was stolen by uh, a giant, and to get it back, Thor had to be dre- had to dress up like a woman, right? Yeah, like a woman as Freya. To pre- because that's the because uh, Loki was it was Loki's idea because uh, the the giant was like hey the only way you can get this hammer back if I get Freya and so they uh, pretend they pretended th- they uh, disguised Thor as disguised <laughs> Thor as <laughs> as, Freya. as Freya and during the, apparently in their their um, they were having like they were eating and he just kept eating so much yeah. or whatever and the giant was like is he is, is the queen always like this. And and then he ends up fucking beating their ass in, and then they realize that he's Thor and shit. I was listening to all their, their stories, and it was so funny. Yeah, I'm at the wiki for the hammer. All I see so far, it's a long read, so there's no way I can figure out if this is true. But I found that um, uh, early yeah, in... Dwarves, Brucker, and Etri. These are the real people. Early in Gifanging, High describes the god Thor and his, quote, three special possessions, end quote, his hammer Mjolnir, his iron gloves, Jan Griper, and his belt. Yep. <laughs> his belt. Is what, I think Meng, the what lets him fly. Warrior. I explain. I know that in Marvel it's true. I don't know if that's true in this. High explains that Thor must wear his gloves with his hammer and that Mjolnir is well known among the Jotnir due to the skills of many Jotnir that is smashed over. It has smashed mm-hmm. over time. Again, I I think we're talking about a depiction of a lot of people writing different things. So, Mm. you know, it's almost like comics from back then, right? Like a lot of people wrote a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. Um. 
Oh, here's yeah, Thrym is the frost giant. Uh, I'm trying to see. He was like, lame. we'll say it's unclear, but yeah. we'll we'll just say for the. We'll just say no one can pick it up other than them. But we'll, uh, yeah, to just move on. Um, uh, what else? We Magni covered the... was able to do it in the in in the thing. <laughs> Again, the, like is he edits. worthy? He was a pretty. He was, yeah. yeah it, after in the events of Ragnarok, Magni and Modi were among the few gods who survived, and they joined the new era and inherited the Mjolnir hammer as the prophecy. What the? F yeah, is the poetic Any... edda of of Vafnismal, the lines of Magni and Modi. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, it's so fucking weird. Uh, we find the real tier. We already said that. Um, game yep. secret ending and has the funeral. And that's God of War. We talked about pretty much everything. Um, the only thing we haven't touched on yet: the music was beautiful. I I'll quickly oh, said yeah. I've been listening to the soundtrack actually, which oh, I yeah, rarely, the, the, yeah, the, I rarely the, do. I rarely do that. Yeah. I've only done that for very select games: Persona Five Royal, Kingdom Hearts, and now this mm -hmm. Final Fantasy X is another one I've done. Yeah, um, the composition of this is oh. it's masterful. I mean, this is it's I, that's the best I, best yeah. compliment I give it. It's masterful. Yeah, I was listening. I was watching a video and it was like a composer listening to it and like some of the things that he pointed out. I was like, I didn't even notice some of that stuff. And I was like, after listening to it, it's like again, you can hear it. Like there was parts where, like at the beginning, where I guess it starts to get intense. You can hear the the orchestra, like the violins, like flutter back and forth and like different things. And I'm like, oh my god, I can hear it. And wow. it's like it's so cool. And that is the spoiler cast for God of War Ragnarok. I, I don't think I have too too much else to bring up. Any, anything you want to bring up? We, we, we've talked about pretty much everything. We talked about the combat kind of loosely. Um, I Again, we love it. Was and, there anything you wish it would have done that didn't? Ooh. Was there any faults or anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, again, I'll bring it up again. I, I don't know if this is going to be popular with people at home or from the like gaming industry at large. Just didn't have a lot of fun as Treyas. I, I liked it fine. It just yeah. wasn't. It just didn't feel cool. But let me be honest. Like again, going from like a perfect combat experience to a good combat experience. Again, yeah. not stating that it isn't anything less than than a, a good experience. It's it's still drastically mm. uh, different. I didn't love it, and I wish I focused more on the spells. I feel like Loki should be doing spells or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like just doing the bow. I don't feel as cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's yeah. It will in. It could be. I mean, he's probably a different Loki. So I yeah, mean, no, like, I know. Like, he's shifting to a wolf and a bear. I mean, he's supposed to be able to cool. shift to like like humans and shit. Yeah, no, I mean, him, out, him so. shifting was cool. I, again, I get it. Doesn't make it fun though. Um, no, for sure. Uh, same question. What, what about you? I can think of a probably a couple other way you what you mentioned. Like I said. I mean, there's, it's, it was, uh, like I said, it was missing the key, that key moment. It was just like, or like that hype, like, oh shit, like the Blades of Chaos moment. For some reason, that, that moment is probably one of the best moments in, like, to me, like, that I've ever seen. Like, it's just like, you know what's coming. And they just, but the way they executed it, it was phenomenal. Yeah, to and, me, to me, the only thing that matches that in this game is the Siege Knight yeah. with Atreus and Kratos. Yeah. I could see so, that, but it's it's different, so it, it's not the same. But I think that is my scene in this game. No, but of sure. course, different emotions and feelings are happening. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I like so many things wrap up in my head of what ifs. Mm. Like, um, I, I thought to my head, I thought to myself at one point, you know, what if this prophecy does come true? Like, let's say, like, you know, Kratos gets really badly injured by Thor or Odin, like, almost, to almost point to the to death. And Atreus's Spartan rage, more or more on his rage side than his God, Loki side comes out. What would what would you have done if he picked up if he picked up the blades? Hmm. Like if he was like, it would have been weird because he, he was so like, he was like so pissed, like, like, and he was like, I'm picking these up, and like, you know, he's seeing, like, in my head, I could see it's like, oh, he's picking them up, and he can see what it's done to his father, but he still picks up. Like, what if? Yeah, it's, that's a cool idea, but I, I, I don't think it would have worked just because it's so small and it wouldn't have looked right, and there's like a bunch of other things. I think they very masterfully I mean, put magic, that so. that he seems, yeah. yeah. But can you wield it? Can you? Can anyone pick him up? And it, like he's small, so like can he just pick that up? I, I so. don't think so. Um, I guess so. But um, I like that they kind of bring it up that is like he's not him. Um, mm -hmm. in a bunch of different ways. One comically with when he tries to punch the chest. 
uh mm-hmm. he's like oh he makes it look so easy and he like hits his and he, like, yeah he's like ow and there's just a bunch of different things that that happen he's like yeah clearly yeah the way kratos tackles things will not Obstacles be the same things. way atreus slash yeah. loki does this yeah. isn't it's just it's different he's going to do it differently he's going to think and use his brain and kind of strategize mm-hmm. and and kind of trick people he, he he didn't really I, he said he like and near the beginning of the game he said like oh i, I can go undercover and be like and, and like be a trickster like, i think he even yeah. he, he, i think he even says that or something or, I think, or I, someone I think says at one point so he was like oh he's, he's saying you causing mischief or yeah like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. you're gonna cause mischief i was like oh that's yeah. that's cute yeah i guess he did but he i mean he didn't i don't know it, he, Odin knew he was a double agent the entire time, so it, yeah, he wasn't tricking anyone. But like, I don't know. It, I, I feel like we could have done more with that. But again, I'm bringing baggage to this because that's what I want. Because that's why I saw it in other places. So I don't there's really one, find them being criticisms. There's one caveat. We know after we figure out that Tyr was, you know, Odin in disguise. Yeah. When he. When he, when the whole part where Atreus gets pissed and he and he runs away and he goes to Asgard, right. and Odin is there, before right before that, Tyr was still at Sindri's house. So does Tyr just disappear and then he just goes into the closet and he's like, "Hey, I'm hiding. I'm just staying in the closet." Be right and back. that's where he goes back to Odin as Odin. To be fair, every time the he goes, up. every time he goes back, he goes to his room, which I guess Ooh, gave- Tyr. No, um, Atreus. Oh, yeah, no, no, I know. I'm saying like, like at the like, did nobody else realize that Tyr was missing that uh, right in some time period? Yeah, no, that's a good question. I also thought that maybe he said he was. Going well, because Sindri kept saying, no, saying something. I was like, oh yeah, he's always he's he's staying in the closet. And I'm yeah. like, I wonder. So I'm wondering if maybe that's the like you know they were use he was using that as a scapegoat because he was in prison. He was like, oh, I'm gonna stay in the closet, but that's where it's, it's getaway. Yeah, That's the only I, thing I can think of. I don't know. Yeah, like if once you think about it, there are questions, but I guess I'll chalk it up to him being smart, so he knew how to do it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, unless and I also don't think they we, weren't we suspicious it, like, of him, so they wouldn't have checked up on. It. Like if if he just went like, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna go like relax for a little bit," like sorry, like just goes closes. You know, none of them had a thing to be suspicious about, so mm. they just didn't bother him. I guess. Um, I'm curious mm-hmm. if there'll be a line like somewhere now throughout the game since since we're looking for it now. Like, I will be curious if he's like, hey, can you not bother me? Like if when I go in yeah. here, when, maybe he's meditating. Remember, he meditates. And shit. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, like, oh, yeah, I would like not to be disturbed. Or, yeah. Or, like or maybe he says he goes. But does he say he leaves? He doesn't leave. Right. Does he ever say he leaves? I don't think he does. Does he? Does he just sit in the house the whole time? I thought I th- is there some point where he does say he is like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to be back or something. I don't remember if if he does. I don't remember it. I was just yeah, curious because that, that would be an easy excuse to say, oh, I'll be right back. I don't know. Was he mobile? <laughs> like, was he leaving a lot? Again, a lot of questions on that specific area. I'm curious if we uh, upon revisiting it, would it become clear? Like, oh, I guess we'll I find see. out. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely find out. And again, what a good twist. Mm hmm. Uh, well, Yeah things we can fix uh best single moment of the game as we close out yep. what do you think best single moment if you had to say it best single moment yeah Se- what do you scene mean by that? single moment oh, 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 oh. it could um, be a number of scenes it could be it could be a thing well when i say what is the best moment of god of war ragnarok what what is what comes to your head mm. oh god i mean is it bad? I, I honestly, I love his. I love Kratos' speech as the general. Yeah, in yeah. the Tears Temple. Oh yeah, and he just and he, yeah, I love that scene where he's just he be he was like, I will be your general, and he just be and then everybody starts calling him general, and yep. then he gets on the little foot thing and he starts talking. Yep, I'm like, I was like, oh shit, this is awesome. Yeah, like yeah. that. And yeah, I that, love that he that doesn't take it great. lightly. He's when um. Freya asks him, he's like, do you know what you're asking me? And and she goes, yes, but I need my most experienced guy to be the one that in war. Yeah, he, needs, he needs the most experienced person in war. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, he's done a lot, so I get it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, yeah, I just, that, that is a great, that's a great one to bring up. I'll, I'll leave it with uh, the, 
the last Fey uh scene okay the very yeah. last yep. that was nice, yeah. it, it, if i if i can cheat a little it would be the scene with atreus and the like that whole part was beautiful to me we, just, there was one thing that. we didn't talk about and i'm wondering no. how you feel about it the uh not the oracles the the fate, oh, the fates thank the you norns. so much that was a great part of the game that i didn't bring up at all thank you so much yeah, yeah the so, norns. so the norns yeah i i, I mean god i i loved how different they were they they, they were like a little bit of the um they almost ran me of the oracles but um the three, yeah, the three oracles in greece is that what they're called okay yeah so yeah sorry yeah, the oracles, yeah. yeah the three the, the oracles and then these are the norns yeah they yeah. were they almost kind of invoked because they like looked a little weird the the big one had mm -hmm. with the big nose like she looked a little yeah. ugly like the other ones did and the other one that kept mm -hmm. tying like the stuff right before they said it he he uh he he finds the urge to grunt but stops himself Mm. he fails <laughs> like it's so like that old scene is so fun like all all of that it, it brought a little levity to a to kind of like a high tense game like this 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 game was kind of like high tense throughout the whole, mm. whole experience unless you're doing side quests and things where you kind of relax a little bit but there was a lot of tense throughout that whole time so that was a very quick like uppity like we're, yeah, we're the joking only reason I we're having fun with you. them is because i was thinking of how odin died and I was like, oh, shit, that's right. She took the noose from where he hung himself. Yep. As a, uh, was, what was it? What did he, he, he went to hang himself to. Oh, my to, God. That's where he, that's how he got all the, I thought he, that's how he got to the knowledge, isn't that's, it? That's, yeah, he did something to see or to see if he could glimpse into the other side or something. like Yeah, yeah. Can you actually check that? That's going to bother me. Um, while you check that, um, uh, going back to the uh, Norns, loved every aspect of that because Again, it brought like that little levity, and I loved their, their discussions, how they messed with them, and then again, the pacing of the the dialogue is expert. Where they go in, and she goes like, "It, it won't." I already seen what you're gonna do. You'll find out that um, Heimdall will kill uh, uh plans to kill Loki, and you will go and kill him and begin Ragnarok. And like she just tells you what's gonna happen, and. When it happens, you're still kind of surprised that it's happening. You know, I still find my life. Oh, wow. It's really happening. Like, and, and it almost gives them that excuse to like when everything happens and then they say, hey, let's break fate together. Like him and uh, uh, Atreus and Kratos, like make that kind of promise to each other. It's like, hey, we're, we'll just we'll break fate together. Like, this is not how it ends. And that's how they stick with it. And it's awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, he pretty much just that he was determined to to lean to learn the runes as well as the secrets behind them. And it's the same thing as he was similar. It was a similar, to, it was just to get knowledge. It was the same time as he sacrificed one of his eyes for a chance to drink out of Mimir's well. That's why he lost the eye. Cause he's, he sacrificed his eye in Mimir's well to get knowledge of the cosmic. Yeah. He shoved his face in the thing, right? That's what huh? he says, right? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, 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 he shoved yeah. his face in the well, whatever. And he's he like, "Have you ever?" Water. And he's like, "Have you ever looked into it?" And he goes, "I have." What happened? And he just points at his eye, and he's like, "Oh, okay." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, thank you for bringing that. That was a and such a fun part that I didn't bring up, and it was so fun. And I think it's so fun because it was so fleeting. Like you work a yeah. lot to get to that peak, and then once you do, it you talk so to them. And it's so fast, but that's why it's so good because you don't like it doesn't overstay its welcome. You're in, yeah. you're out. That's it. You got that. Yeah. It was really fun. You leave. I have you ever tried going back? So I went back to there was a chest or not a chest. Eh? There was a I was I went back. There should for have been a chest. I think there. Yeah. Okay. There was, I went back. I, mean, I like, missed the chest. That's why I went back. But I didn't go. I, I didn't try to go all the way back to like where the horse was. I did because like I was I curious what would happen to uh, uh, uh right. well the horse is um. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah sorry. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm thinking you use the horse for the lady. That's not true. You use like a submarine thing. Not a submarine. Yeah, it's no, like the, a yeah, lift. The horse you, you transform to go underneath. Yeah, and it's it, a it, kelpie, it, it, I think is what it's called. Um, my wife kinda, yeah. My wife knew that. I think it's called a kelpie. But um, uh, if you go back there, the the entrance is wall again. It, there's nothing there. Mm. And he and he goes, it's the entrance is gone. And Mimir's like, why would you want to go back? And he, he just goes... I wanted to show Atreus the horse. <laughs> like that's Aww. what he's, that's what he says, and, and it stops after that. It was really cool. That's that's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. He's like, I wanted to show Atreus the horse, and it just ends. Um, 
one thing that's uh crazy about this game that I want to quickly bring up, uh, Kratos laughs in this game. Yeah. What? What did you? What, yeah. I mean, I know uh, people at home are probably like, "Who cares?" But like, he hasn't laughed. I don't no, think yeah. in the entire series. Um, no, and no, he no, actually he's the and he actually no, chuckles, and I believe it's with Angra Boda. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, he he. It's that one, and then there was another one because I w- he he said it to me when I was in in a in another realm and I was doing something and it was a he was it was after Mimir said something. It, it was oh it was a it was after one of his his jokes I think. Oh, was it the? No, it wasn't after the lion joke, right? Where he's like, "There's three doors." No, he, no, he didn't. No, no, he didn't laugh at that one. He was just like, "I like this." Yeah, one. yeah. He just said, "I like that one." I, I thought he laughed at um, uh, when he goes to when you go back to Jotunheim in the epilogue, and you see Anger Boda, and you're talking about everything. You talk about the paintings. He sees the paintings. Like, hey, I remember. Uh, well, a tra- he pretty much goes to Atreus. Well, paints. No, he laughs on that one. I, I don't know he does, either. He does, I like, think he. I thought he did. Cause he, cause Atreus, he says Atreus uh, draws two, and he's like, "Yeah, I've seen them. He needs more discipline." Uh, <laughs> he's like, I like- and he just, I thought he goes, <laughs> "I like you." Like I, I thought that's what he said. Maybe, maybe it wasn't I'm off there, but I'm pretty sure I could have swore he chuckled a little. Anyways, I, re- I remember in that interview with Eric Williams, he he remembers talking to Christopher Judge like uh, when given the scene, he just goes to him, he's like, "How do I laugh as him?" <laughs> like, 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 what do I? How do I? Is he? And they had to like break, like figure out what a Kratos chuckle would sound like, and thing. Let me see. Uh, it says there's a. It's it says Freya tells a joke and makes Kratos laugh, so it's Freya that says it. Let's okay. See. I don't remember this. Yeah, I don't either. I'm figure it out. Cause now I want to know. Yeah, I do too. So many things. Let's see. This game was so deep, so it's hard to remember everything. So much. Forty yeah. plus hours. So there's a lot that happened. Uh, let's see. Well, he looks over that. I'll end. Uh, I'll start wrapping us up. Remember, easy achievers, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do if you're on the YouTube. If you're on podcast service, remember to five star if you enjoyed us. We do spoiler casts of the main big games that we find interesting, and we just oh, release no, them just like this. That was just a huff. That was not a laugh. Yeah, no, he does a straight up chuckle. So we yeah. gotta, we gotta. Mir finally makes Kratos laugh. Let's see. We gotta figure out like where this is from. I know someone at home is like losing their mics. Oh, so like, yeah, because oh, he was here. like, yeah, yeah, because this is the one where he says, "Mimir, you may tell a story if you wish." It was that's right, and he's like, "Oh, you much prefer me to silence now, huh?" Like, I remember that was that he says that. What is this? What is the story? Yeah. Uh, did no one write this down? Internet, come on. It's fine. By the way. Perfect trophy list, I'd say. Oh yeah. The only thing it was missing was a difficulty trophy, but eh, I'm never mad if uh, you don't include this. I had the trophy list up in just in case, and also uh, just to quickly mention, Metacritic score of 94, the exact same score that the 2018 God of War got. Nice. Very strange that it uh, worked hmm. out that way. The exact same. Well deserved. I would actually. It's funny that. Uh, in the, of course, I, I don't care about review scores, but if we say that this game is as good as the last game is pretty much how it seems like the yeah. overall consensus is. Well, it's like it's like what we talked about before. It's like this game. Does this game feel like kind of like what like a Last of Us Part Two? There, where it's just it's a continuation. It's yeah. it's not it's like not like a sequel. It's just would, more of a continuation. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I would agree. Actually, whereas they literally tell you this is Last of Us Part Two, meaning this is not really a sequel. We're just telling you the rest of it. I feel like that is the kind of same vibe I get from this. Like. I don't know. It does feel a little bit more like sequel because we have such a big time jump without going back. But that was the Last of Us does too, I guess. But but yeah, flashbacks. Anyway, not important. But um, yeah, the, the, this the does joke feel like was about it was this the does feel like about more the Lord and the woman and a bunch of things happening. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. but uh, yeah, I I do agree that this does feel like uh just more. I think yeah. I think in my opinion even more than the Last of Us Part Two does. 
Whereas Last of Us Part yeah. Two does feel different, even though they did, of course, go back and change a lot of it. So now it's not really too different. They like updated it to where like it all kind yeah, of bleeds part together. Two literally, is just it's like you can literally if you if you could literally have play part one and then just literally hit part two and continue playing. It's like the it's like you haven't even started a new game. You just continue yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, I would agree too. And it's it next cutscene. And this kind of feels the same. It kind of feels like you're just playing more of 2018, except it's a little prettier and it runs way better. Well, I mean, this took place immediately after the last one. Yeah, there's like, a, literally, yeah, they, there's they, a they, time they... jump. There's a time jump. Yeah, Trace is older. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Well, because it's ten. Wait, was it the five years? Uh, what is he, it? He does the thing. Huh? Is it five years? Is that what it is? I thought it was two. I that it was might like be. Two. That might be true. That might be true. Because they say everything in fucking winters. <laughs> so, like, they don't say years in this. Like, it's been 10 winters since I've seen you. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Just talk like normal people. Yeah, assholes. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, yeah. The, uh, this, this feels... Oh, more... no, you're right. You're right. It was five? The game has taken... R- uh, f- oh, wait, no. No. No, this is roughly five years to develop. Man, I hate when this Oh, shows. yeah, no. Uh, Kratos the protagonist is around. Holy shit! I was not prepared for that. Kratos the protagonist is around one thousand and fifty years old, most probably between ten forty seven and ten fifty five. Being a demigod, he lives much longer than average human. How do they know that? Uh, There's a lot of gray area. I feel like we're we're jumping to conclusions with the age there. Okay, here his son Atreus was around eleven years old at the time of twenty eighteen. As three years passed from the first part, he seems to be fourteen or fifteen in Ragnarok. So we were both wrong. We we should have met in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three years. <laughs> so we should have met like yeah, kind of like two to three years has passed since the first title from the connect first title okay. connected to this. So, game so game not nearly as much. He he grows up fast. <laughs> it's only been two years. Um, wow, Kratos is a thousand years old. Uh, again, uh, no offense to whoever wrote that. I I feel like we're we're that's a lot of a gray area. We're just kind of filling in. How how we don't have any idea how long it took from him to get to Greece to 2018. Like how, that's true. How would anyone know that? They don't say anything about time in this. So um, there's zero way you would know how old he is. Do you like um, that they had a uh, PlayStation All Stars reference? Achievers, if you, if you didn't listen to that, I mean, God damn it, you you missed out. Like, go look it up. It's a, I'm sure it's a YouTube clip somewhere. Uh, Mimir says, I, I wanted to ask you about a story, brother. Like, uh, I heard you were in a tournament. You fought the best musician. The best musician. Yep. It was. The, the, it was. Yeah. He oh was... my God. Um, a princess. Mm-hmm. And. A automaton, which yeah. is Fat Princess, a big daddy from Bioshock, and um, yep. Parappa uh, the Rapper. <laughs> Fucking awesome shit. And what's funny is um, in that interview with Eric Williams, he literally goes, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I don't write He's the like, dialogue. <laughs> Someone the way, put that he, in there. Kratos' age is about a thousand. So here's the thing. Destruction of Sparta in God of War 2 was occurred in 464 BC. Oh, so they do say okay. Well, okay. Well, I guess if you oh, so they're using like pre 2018 stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So Ghost is yeah. So, uh, in God of War 2018, it said in pre Viking area, which takes place between 500 BC and ends just before 800 AD. The start of Fimble Winter is inspired by the real world historic event that occurred in 536 AD. So from 464 BC to 536 AD, and he was already a thing and before 400, so roughly a thousand. So it says it, Kratos could be pushing a thousand seventy years old at least. All right, all right. Looks like we're okay. Again, we're 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 pretending like there's a linear oh. aspect of change here. Time though, because. That's um, that's basing off real world events, and this isn't a real place. These are all this fake is places. hilarious, and I want to tell you they Go, have please age. They have ages of what each, oh my of, God. each game. Okay, there's some so, historian out there for God of War. God of War Ascension, he was 28. What God of War Chains Olympus, he was 33. Okay. God of War One, 38. God of War Sparta, 50. 
God of War Betrayal, which I think is a mobile game, he was 50. God of War 2 and 3, he was 51. God of War 2018, he's, a God, though, he's so. a thousand. So it's been a thousand years between 3 and God of War. Again, the only thing I protest is these aren't real places. So we, we're using our linear amount of time that we know... As a yeah. basis for a fake place, I'm just saying. I don't. I, I don't know. They could be true. I'm just saying. Just I mean, because yeah, these things happened history, for us yeah, yeah, is not necessarily the same. Because again, this is a fake ass place. So who knows? Again, could be real. Who knows how this guy ages? He's got a beard now. He could be 10 billion years old. He, he, we could using Gandalf math. Who knows? Well, no, Midgard is technically Scandinavia, technically or again, Norway, whatever the hell it is. Still not a real. Still not a real place. Even though it's based off something, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I understand true, it yeah. is technically uh, Scandinavia, uh, yeah. what Midgard is, but again, it, it not us, right? Because yeah. he's in a realm and there's magic. And shit. Anyways, not important. <laughs> he could be a thousand. I don't. Again, don't really care. Clearly, age doesn't affect him, so he's yeah. fine. He stabbed himself in the chest and lived with a sword as big as his body. So clearly, we're not worried about age or damage in this world. Somebody said, how does he look so young? And somebody was like, maybe it was just the goatee. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> so if he, if, so if he say, shaved it, he should look the same. Yeah. Anyways. That's fucking Thank hilarious. you so much for listening to this spoiler cast. This was so much fun. Final thoughts about the game while we close out the spoiler cast. I had a great time about this. I could talk about this game forever, but I think we should be closing it up now. I will say... I did love what they did with Thor. Now that I've picked up Mjolnir yes. again, um, it was an unexpected surprise that they actually made him a kind of deep character with being an alcoholic mm-hmm. and being this kind of war hero that's like fucked up and mm-hmm. like always looking for the next fight. But then by the end of the game, he like wants to change for his kid, and then unfortunately ends before he can try to do that. Quick, quick thing: the bar fight scene with Thor going that around the fun. whole thing. That was, that was awesome. That, that was fun. That was fun. That's when I was having fun as a trace. I was like, all right, this is cool. This is yeah. cool. And also, I did like the um, hold R one move with Atreus. So like, you uh, you like hit you like trip them, and then you grab your bow oh, yeah, and start yeah. whacking the hell out of them while they're on the ground. That was very satisfying. And also, I very much liked um, calling the wolves. That was really cool. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. And then the ravens were kind of fun too. You call the ravens, the fuck with people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could get like four of them on the field too. Um. Uh, really quick, did you like the uh, Berserkers in uh, in this as a replacement for the Valkyries? I didn't like them as much as the Valkyries, but they were still fun. Yeah. I felt like the Valkyries had more story, I guess. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, it's not much going on. I mean, they tell you, I mean, Mimir tells you stuff when you kill them, but I'm like, yeah, they're not as cool. Oh, wait, they, but the Berserkers, he wanted to get revenge on them. He, he, that's was, why he was pissed. Yeah, he was pissed. And he was like, he was like, remember, he was like, yeah, vengeance is uh, not the answer. He's like, I'm like, bitch, you're one to talk. <laughs> he, well, that's what he says. And remember, he says, yeah. I have the authority on this man. I, I, I have oh. the authority on this man. Like, I, the, I, the reason I get to talk is because I've been there. And I yeah. love that Mimir finally is like, you know what, brother? We should stop. And he's like, all right, I'm still going to do it, though. This is the right thing to do. We shouldn't yeah. leave them here, but we need to do it for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. Which, again, it shows a different Kratos. This is not this. This is not. The guy that we played when he was screaming uh, Athena Zeus on the back of a Titan that's just slowly climbing Mount Olympus. It's not the same yeah, you're Kratos. Fucking, you're fucking climbing Gaia. Yeah, yeah, just you're climbing Gaia and you're like biting stuff at you. are like climbing. Mm-hmm. I gotta play this game again. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that, that was cool. The artifacts, nice touch. Every time you bring one up, it's like a, it, they're like their version of audio logs in this almost where like you pick it up and you hear some stuff like the crests and the artifacts. And again, <laughs> Cav- uh, Cavessier's poems. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to this God of War Ragnarok spoiler cast. Let us know your thoughts, of course, on the game below. Uh, we answer every comment. So if you have a thought or an idea or something just to expound about this game, we will discuss it below. Thank you so much. Remember, likes, that's the only thing YouTube cares about if you click a button on it. And until next time, go Chief. Go Chief.